Hey guys, what's up? My name is Chaotic and welcome back to another GTA Online livestream here on my channel. So right now, the update, the Smugglers Run DLC is out on all platforms. I've just downloaded it on PC, I play on the Steam version, it's already out on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 as well. So if you guys haven't downloaded it already, make sure you do so, because it's out and we can now purchase all the content in the updates. I want to get straight into things, I am super hyped, because obviously earlier on we are taking a look at all the leaked content. And there's so many things coming to GTA Online in this update, and it's now here. So hello to everybody who's just tuned in, it's good to see you all. If you guys could drop a like, it would be greatly appreciated. So uh, yeah, let's get straight into things. Uh, I'm just driving down to my CEO office uh, so we can make our way to our garage, but uh, I think before we do that, I want to just get straight in to see what we can actually buy. I've not looked at any of this stuff in game yet, so this will be the first time for you guys and for me as well. Let's get straight onto the internet, and you can see straight away the Warstock Cash Carry uh, website's got a different uh, main photo. Same for the to travel as well. Uh, but first of all, before we can actually buy any of that, we are going to need to purchase a hanger. I can see there's a, a new badge on the Maze Bank foreclosure website. So let's see if it's on here that we buy the hangers. It is! Oh my god. We can buy hangers at Fort San Cudo. There's three there, and there's two down at the airport. Let's zoom into the airport ones first of all and just see what we have down here. So we have the big one down on the end, which is usually closed, and I believe that's one of the Pegasus ones, uh, which is also closed. Um, so this one down at the airport is 1,500,000. I think that's going to be one of the most useful. Oh, we saw some interior pictures as well. So that's the outside, the number one hanger, and that's the inside there. I don't know if they're different sizes or not. I'm guessing this one's bigger than that one. You can see it's obviously bigger on the map. Uh, this one is 1.2 million. Uh, so I'm guessing that is the reason. Although the interior looks the same, so they might just be... Uh, yeah, they're obviously bigger on the outside, but the same size on the inside. Uh, let's go up to Fort San Cudo and see these ones. So we've got this one down here, that hanger on the end. Uh, that's 2 million. So inside Fort San Cudo, I'm guessing we can go inside uh, without getting a wanted level by having one of these. Uh, then we've got this one here, the slightly big one that's unused, that one there. That's 3,250,000. I'm not too sure if we're going to go for the most expensive one in Fort San Cudo, or we're just going to go for the cheapest one down at Los... Uh, Los Santos Airport. Uh, by the looks of things, they're all the same size, just different hangers. I don't see any difference uh, so far. So, what do you guys think? Do I go for one at the airport, or do we go for one at the uh, the Fort San Cudo military base? Comment right now. Which one do I go for? Airport or military base? I want to go for a military base one. I want to go for the most expensive one. I feel like doing that, because we have 90 million in game to spend, but... At the same time, I feel like this will be a better location, having one down here instead at the airport. Um, look in the chat right now. It actually is pretty 50-50. Some people saying military, some people saying airport. Because it's, it's going to be so cool, the concept of having one in the, uh, in the Fort San Cudo military base. But I also love the idea of having one at the airport as well. And we can't own two. We can only have one. So what do you guys think? Military, military, airport, 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 military. It's, it's like 50-50. There's not like a direct one. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to buy one in the military base because it's the first time we can own a property in the military base. But if I don't like it, I can always swap it and go for another one. How does that sound to you guys? We're going to go for the most expensive one. I don't think there's any difference, but we'll get the most expensive one anyway to see if there is. Um, so yeah, let's go for it. $3,250,000. Let's go. And obviously we can customize the interior as well. Um, right, so at the moment we have... Uh, what is it? Just Oh, it's like a yellow, yellow sort of interior we can go for. Uh, blue and red, we can have orange, which is kind of cool, uh, nice and yellow, red, oh, red floor. Again, if you guys have any ideas or suggestions for color themes, uh, I kind of feel like going for something bright, but then again, a nice white one like that might be kind of cool. Uh, you can see the price does change uh, based on which one you select. So this one's obviously free, it's 100,000, 133,000, uh, it goes up by about 30,000 each time. Which color do you guys think? Uh, I can see blue in the chat, red. A uh, red's kind of cool. I do like red, red and yellow. But I also like the white one. It's, it's going to be very plain, but I want the, the planes to be colourful. That's the idea that I've got in my head. So we might go for uh, for one of those. Uh, apparently, there are some people are blocked from the video. Just uh, refresh the page, and hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, if not, I'm not too sure I can really do about that one. Um, red, 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 red. Mostly, certain guys saying either red or blue. Ooh, I think I, I do. I, I don't know. I just feel like the plain one might be the better one, and everyone's going to go for red, and I want mine to stand out and be different. Um, I also like yellow as well. Oh, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. I know you guys want red. I know you guys... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go for the red, because that's what you guys are asking for right now. Again, I can always change the customization afterwards, so let's do that. Uh, I can then change the lighting from... Is that just yellow? Is that the only difference? 
don't think there's any difference. It just changes it to, you know, from, I think it's from LED to just standard bulbs. I'm going to go for LED because it's nice. It's like, it'll be brighter inside, I feel. Uh, the floor graphics. We can change that up. We can go from the standard sort of like uh, airport one to this one. We can have the like star in the middle. That design. I kind of feel the stock one is better, to be honest. A basketball sort of court. Um, that, that sort of design. This one. Oh, what do you guys think about that one? That's kind of nice. Or that one. Right, guys, just, just comment either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right now, which one do you think I should go for? I feel like either this one or I might just go with the stock one. What do you guys think? We've got a couple of comments saying 8, some people saying 9. Oh, and I'm like. I am 50 50 between these. Most people saying 8 now. Most people saying 8. Okay, we're going to go for 8. Let's do it. Office furniture. Okay, so we can have the standard, the traditional, actually 200,000. Or we can go for modern. Let's go for... Traditional's kind of nice. Let's go for modern. Let's do it. 280,000. Living quarters, we'll get one of those. And we'll go for modern as opposed to traditional. And then workshop. We, of course, need one of those. 1,150,000, but we'll be able to upgrade all of the aircrafts inside. So, I bought the most expensive... Uh, Hangar, I've gone for, well, all the upgrades I like, obviously. So I'm, I'm spending $5,440,000 on this. Let's do it, guys. There goes $5 million already, that $50 million spending spree. And uh, we're going to go up there now in a few moments. Um, so yeah, just a quick recap. The cheapest one is down at the airport. It's this one right by here, which is $1,200,000. Uh, then the most expensive one is the one we just bought. Uh, with all the upgrades, are probably around about $6 million or so. So yeah, there we go. Uh, let's back out from here now. And uh, before we go up there, let's actually go and look at the, the new aircrafts and vehicles. I'm just like so excited to see everything, and I want to do it all at once, and it's not possible. Uh, we'll start off on the Warstock Cash and Carry website. Let's do that. And straight away, okay, we've got the, uh, the LF-22 Starling, which is uh, $2,750,000. Otherwise, the buy-it-now price is $3,675,000. Obviously, we can go and do the mission, which is advised, but I want to get these right now and customize them. So I'm going to buy every single one. Uh, during this stream. So let's do it. Let's buy that one. Uh, the next one we've got then is the Rogue, which is only 1.2 million. Otherwise, the buy it now is almost 1.6. Uh, let's buy one of those. Uh, let's do it. Then the next one, we have the V65 Molotov. That's actually a lot more expensive than I thought it was going to be. 3.6 million is the trade price. The buy it now is almost 5 million. It's 4,788,000. That's really expensive. Uh, but I'm going to buy one because I'm buying every single aircraft. We've already spent at 80 million in that bank account. We're down to 66 uh, million. So we've already spent uh, almost uh, 20, no, 15 million. Almost 15 million we've spent so far on just three aircrafts and uh, the hangar. Uh, the Tula, let's buy one of those. Uh, again, that's more expensive than I thought it was going to be. That's $3,890,000 trade price. All the buy it now price is $5,173,700. But it does have VTOL. It has the JTO as well. Uh, although it says upgrade, so that might be something we've got to buy. Uh, oh, you can see it's, well, it's in the water. I want to give that a try later on as well. Remind me, guys. I will forget. Let's buy that one. And then we've got... That's actually it. Only four on the Warstock Cash and Carry website. But I saw some on the Elitish Travel. We do have a few on here. Okay, only three, though. There were 20 uh, planes leaked. But only this number being shown. Unless, of course, we've got to scroll down more to see some of them. Is that the case? I don't see any other ones. I'm not too sure. Um, right. The Alpha Z1, that tiny little plane. That's almost... It's $2,120,000. It's more expensive than I thought it was going to be. It's a tiny little size. I thought it was going to be like 500k. 2 million. This, this update is definitely more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Let's buy one, though, because it looks cool. Uh, let's buy the Ultralight as well. That is... Sort of the rough price I estimated around about like five, six hundred thousand dollars. Well, the trade price is five hundred thousand. The buy it now is six hundred and sixty-five thousand. Of course, these are upgradable. There will be things we can fit to them, costing even more. Hopefully, there's no research, but we'll see. Um, then we've got the Havoc, uh, which is the one-seater plane or oh, helicopter. My bad. Buy it now is one million seven hundred thirty thousand. With uh, yeah, that's the trade price. The buy it now is two million and uh, 300,000. Let's buy one of those. There we go. All of those bought already. That was three on there, and I think it was four on the Warsaw Cash and Carry website, right? Yeah, and four on there. So we've got seven of the new air vehicles already. We've already spent almost 25 million. Oh my god. Almost 25 million spent. And let's go to the... Uh, am I rushing through these so quickly? The Su uh, Southern Sundress also's website. There's the uh, Vapid uh, Retinue. It's the uh, Ford Escort Mark One. 
$615,000. That's definitely more expensive than I thought it was going to be. We're going to buy it in white, though. Let's do that. And we'll deliver it to Office Garage 1. And then we're going to just go and check all the other websites just in case. We've got the Legendary Motorsports website. And we do. We have the Grossi Visioni. 2250000 That was the estimated price I gave this between 2 and 2.5 two million. Well, there we go. And we'll buy that one in white as well into Office Garage 1. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to quickly just check all the other websites just in case. Uh, so the Warsaw Cash and Carry website. I want to scroll down because the P996 laser supposedly is now purchasable. But I haven't seen it anywhere. Uh, so maybe it's not. Maybe it's a bit of drip-fed content uh, that's not available. The Hunter. We've not seen the Hunter either. That's going to be a bit of uh, drip-fed content. Quite a few cars as well. Like the Batmobile that was leaked. Um, that's, again, not something we can buy at the moment. So that's going to be some drip-fed content. Uh, there's quite a few things missing, actually. Uh, we've we've only got quite a, a selection of these. There's about 10 or so, I think. Let's just quickly check. We'll count them right now. So we've got, yeah, four on there. Uh, three on here, which brings it up to seven. Uh, and then we have the uh, Visioni on the Legendary Motorsports website. That's eight. And then the Southern San Andreas Super Autos website. That's nine. But in total, there's supposed to be, like, 20 aircrafts and vehicles. We've only got nine out of the 20. Only nine. So Rockstar holding loads of vehicles back for drip fed content. Right now, though, guys, we are going to rush over to the uh, the hangar in the military base. I'm going to use my... Uh, actually, wait, should we use one of the new cars? Rather than the oppressor. I know we can get over there much quicker, but you guys, of course, want to see uh, the new cars, I'm sure. So let's uh, go into my office garage one and see if any of the new cars have been delivered. Uh, which vehicle do you guys want to see the most out of the cars and aircraft first? Which one should I customize first? Let me know right now in the chat. And uh, as soon as I get them, we will, of course, customize them. Uh, okay, they haven't spawned in just yet. They'll be about a minute or so. The Havoc has just been delivered. I think that was the final one that I bought on the Elite's Travel website. So the next one, which should be the uh, Ford Escort Mark 1, should spawn in next. Uh, any second now in this garage. All the other ones have been delivered. I cannot wait to go over to my hangar. It just spawned in. There it is. Let's actually get into it. Uh, in the military base. Let's go. And uh, I can see we've got a black hood. All right, I want to wait for the, the Visioni, ideally. We'll give it a few seconds, let the Visioni spawn in, and then we're going to drive off. Oh, actually, no, we'll, we'll drive the Visioni, because that's going to be faster, and that is cool. Look at that thing. Oh, my God. It does look like some of the McLarens we have in game, especially from the front. Um, but that is badass. Oh, my God. Let's drive this. We're going to drive up to the uh, the hangar right now. I want to start off with some of the planes up there before we customize the cars, because we only have two cars, and we have uh, seven aircrafts. So we're going to go for those first. But we'll drive this up there so we get a good idea of what it's like stuck. Uh, it doesn't feel that fast, I'm not going to lie. It's, well, it's, it's obviously fast, but it doesn't seem, or feel, at the moment at least, like it's going to be up there in the terms of fastest cars in the game. Later on, we will do a test. We'll see whether we can do a drag race and see what sort of this is, or what sort of position this car is in. Uh, but right now, I don't think it's quite there. It does look cool, though. Maybe not so much from the back. From certain angles, maybe. Uh, but the front is definitely very, very cool. Look at that. The back kind of reminds me a bit of the X80 Proto, especially the sort of like shape and style uh, from certain angles. What do you guys think, though? Uh, someone asked, are there any Benny's vehicles? We didn't actually check Benny's. I don't think there are any Benny's vehicles, uh, based upon the ones that have been leaked. Um, but I can check that in a few moments, but I'm pretty, pretty sure it won't be, uh, whether they'll be listed on Benny's. Uh, we're gonna go to the military base first, though, and just see how that all works. So now that we've got a hangar in the military base, will we be able to drive inside? Will the gates open for us, or is there something else we gotta do? Maybe request access or something? We'll drive down there right now and find out. I'm, I'm pretty interested to see how all this is gonna work. Uh, because obviously we've never owned a property in the military base. We're not allowed to go inside of there unless you're in a mission or whatever. Free roam, obviously, wanted levels and whatnot. Uh, we've got 13 AP02 in the chat. Is this out on PS4? Yes, it is out on all platforms right now. It's been out on PS4 and Xbox One now for about half an hour. Only about 10 minutes or so, though, on PC, on Steam. Uh, that's why I'm going to be going there for about 10 minutes or so. But yes, the update is out on all platforms, obviously excluding Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, because those aren't getting any new updates. Uh, but you guys can download it right now. Uh, I think it's just turning daytime as well, right? It is. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. Perfect. Almost at the military base. Um, my only sort of like worry about having a hangar in the military base instead of going for one down at the airport is the sort of location. It's out of the way. Uh, not really that ideal, which is why I'd prefer to go for one at the airport, and I might trade it in later on. But you guys really want me to buy one at the military base, and I also like the idea as well of having one. It's the first time, like I said, that we could own a property there, which is why I've gone for one. 
Uh, but I also feel like the, the airport was a better location. It's more accessible, at least, from the city. Uh, whereas, obviously, this location is much f uh, further north. And once you get here, there's not really much, I don't think. Oh, I guess we'll have to wait and see in terms of uh, the new cargo missions that are involved with the business. But I bet most of the stuff won't even be taking place in this sort of area. We'll have to, like, fly down to the city and uh, the other side of the map and stuff. Which, if that is the case, I will be swapping it in straight away. Uh, okay, we're going to try the entrance uh, on our right-hand side now. Hopefully it's this one we can go into and not on the other side of the military base. But knowing my luck, it probably will be the one on the other side of the military base. I see you guys right now saying that you love this car. If I for uh, first person, so we'll go in first person. Oh my god, look at the steering wheel. That is so cool. Uh, race seats as well. Okay. Oh, the gate's open as well. Right, okay, your hangar includes low-level clearance for some cuter. This allows you to access the base. However, actions deemed beyond the clearance level will result in a wanted level. You're going to open the uh, open the barrier? Oh, there we go. Perfect. So, basically, I think we're going to go to certain locations. And if we do anything that we're not supposed to do, then it will be deemed as a uh, wanted level. Okay. So, this is the hangar that we bought. There's the one down there that you can also buy, and the one just down there as well. A mess just spawned in by there. Wait, that's not a regular mess, Oh, it is a regular mess, yes. There's more stuff spawning in. But, wait, can we drive inside? Oh, we can't drive inside with the car. Okay, we'll leave the car outside. Uh, actually, we'll put it to one side just in case the uh, the aircraft can't come out by putting it by there. So we'll place this one in the yellow checkered area by there. Let's go inside. It's going to be the first time, guys, going inside a hangar at the, uh, the military base. The door's open. That's cool. Usually this one does have an interior, but there's nothing inside of it. That makes sense. Okay, we can see our character walking in. What's it going to look like? What's it going to look like? Please be cool. Here we go. Inside. And hopefully we'll see Charlie as well. Now we've got a... Uh, wait, what? <laughs> we have dead bodies in here. What's going on? Okay, hopefully you guys can hear the game volume. It is very quiet though. We got a space weapon from Russia. A Russian hacker space weapon. I think it's Ron talking. Oh, it is Ron. He sounds very drunk. That was just crazy. Oh, he's got a microphone. What? I think he's drunk. Oh, he's got a gun as well. You dropped it on the floor. You're my new partner. It is very quiet. I'm sorry, guys. Someone said skip it. No, we gotta watch it. I don't think you can skip it anyway. Too important for Ron now. Too important for Ron now. He's a lifestyle coach. I don't know what he is. I bet he's got abs. Oh, I am so alone. I just shot two government agents in the head. I mean, I hope. He just shot two government agents on a military base. <laughs> Let's say that. Where's that mechanic? Oh, you referred to the mechanic. I mean, that's the only reason I, I let them in. Because I thought it was going to be him. Ooh, who's that? Hey, wait, wait, someone, someone coming in? It might be uh, Charlie. Yeah, it's Charlie, the hey, new mechanic. Boss. Oh, hey, boss, is that what I get? Well, you're getting a sandwich. I'm getting killed. These two people came to kill me. Charlie looks pretty cool, to be fair. Him. Everyone's like, boss. skip, skip, skip. Well, I'm sorry that it's so quiet. I can't, I can't skip it. Let me see if I can turn the game volume up, though. Hopefully I can do that for you guys. Yeah, can, he, can you guys hear that now? Okay, all right, he's going to give us a tour. I know you guys want me to skip this. It's really pretty obvious. But we can't. Okay, now, this is the office where I, uh, we, I mean we, equal partners, we, you, senior partner, run the business. Now, this is the computer. It's very secure. We lose this, we're all dead men. This is where the job's come through. Yeah? So you can check it out? Okay? Okay, let's move on. Up here is where you can sleep if you want to. Apparently the game volume is very quiet. Let me see if I can turn the game volume up any more. I might be able to do it in here as well. I mean, it's been cleaned. 
at least once. Oh, there we go. That's loud. Hopefully you guys can hear that now a bit more. Now back here is where we store cargo. Now nothing too dodgy. Mostly untaxed cigarettes, stolen pharmaceuticals, and industrial chemicals. But we'll run pretty much anything. Now back there is where you can store any aircraft that we... I mean, you haven't left out here on the main floor. Got plenty of room. I think we can probably take all the planes we'd need. But then, I've never had more than one. And over there's where Charlie works. Hey, Charlie! Ah! You'll like Charlie. He's boring, but he's good. He can really make aircraft fly. That's not what I mean. I mean, he can make aircrafts fly better. You should try him out. His work is amazing. Give me a hand with these bodies. Oh, I better dump these at sea. Ah! Ooh! Ah! Then I got a little radio thing, but I'll be in touch. I am so glad you're here. You're the best friend I've had, and I mean that. Don't let me down! All right then, guys. I think that was the cutscene. That was pretty lengthy. That was very, very lengthy. I uh, just think we're down to Cuban 800. And I think that's it. I think it's going to put us into a hangar now. Yep, there we go. Let me just quickly tab out and just turn that game volume down because I put it really, really high. Uh, so you guys could hear that. I'm sorry if it was really quiet, by the way. That uh, intro cutscene, it was very, very quiet. Uh, and it was really lengthy as well. That was a good, like, two or three minutes. Um, but yeah, we are now inside our hangar. And uh, we've already got quite a few aircrafts in here because these are the ones I've already bought. So we have the Ultralight. We have the Tula. We've got the... I've already forgotten the name of this one. The Havoc. The Havoc helicopter. We have two of those, but I'm pretty sure this is just like a, an ornament because there's no uh, rotor on it. There's Charlie, our new mechanic. Uh, we've got the Alpha Z1. And we've got the... Uh, the Oh, the, the, the MiG-15. I've got the name of this one already. I think it's like the... The, the Voltic or something? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, and we got this one, the uh, Starling. Uh, this is just a red, uh, regular Cuban, I think. A Cuban 800. I'm not too sure if this is like a personal vehicle or one that we've just got from Pegasus and it then transfers in here. Uh, whether it's just something which you get for free with the hangar. Uh, and then we've got this one, of course. Uh, and again, I forgot the name of this one already. It's so bad. So, so bad. Let me just quickly get into it. It'll tell me what it is. Oh, it's the Rogue. It's the Rogue. And what was the name of this one again? It was a Voltec. Was that what it was? Something like that. Let me get into that one. Just check the name of that one. Right then, guys. So, of course, most importantly, which one are we going to fly around and test first? Oh, the, the Molotov. That's the one. Do we go for the Molotov first? Let me know right now in the chat, guys, which one do we drive around and customize first. Obviously, we can also customize stuff with uh, Charlie as well. Do we go to Charlie? Oh, we can. We can. Right. All right, I want to quickly just search around the the hangar, though, before we do that. Let me know right in, the pl uh, in, in here, guys, in the, in the chat, which one do we go for first? Uh, I'm going to quickly walk around you whilst you guys are doing that. So we have all the, the cargo space over here. That's not a huge amount of space. And as uh, Ron said, you can only import cigarettes, chemicals, and uh, I think drugs as well. Something like that. Nothing too crazy um, by the looks of things. Then this is our office area, which is pretty big with some resting space down here. Uh, I don't know if there's anything in this little building here. I don't think so, no. Uh, let's go upstairs again. Such a really like nice uh, hangar in fairness. Pretty big as well. Let's go upstairs. Somebody asked, is there any difference between the hangars? I don't think so, no. Not that we've seen. Let's go all the way up here again. It's loads like walking around space, but I don't think there's really any use for stuff up here, from what I can see. Unless, of course, this base gets raided, and there are like NPCs and stuff that come in here. We can't use any weapons, though. There's loads and loads of space up here. I think it's just for like cosmetic purposes, as opposed to having an actual use. Um, but that is cool. That is very, very cool indeed. Let's go back downstairs though. I know you guys want to get straight into some of these vehicles. I am pretty excited too, so I want to get straight down there right now. As cool as this hangar is, uh, we'll come back to this later run. I've gone the wrong way. There it is. There's the stairs, or one of the stairs at least, where we can go back down. So let's do that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, run faster. All right. I think most of you guys want to take a look at the Molotov first of all. So we're going to go into that one, the, the, uh, the MiG-15 lookalike. Um, so let's start off with that one, then we'll come in and we'll customize it, and uh, then we'll move on to some of the other vehicles. I want to try it without any of the upgrades first of all, and just see what it's like, um, so we can obviously compare it. Let's go outside. Uh, we're in the uh, military base, so let's see how this is going to work. Hopefully we can just like drive around. It's got a jet system just like uh, the regular jets in game. We can drive around a bit without uh, being deemed uh, unfriendly. 
that we should be okay. Yeah, it's only if we attack the military folk, I think. All right, here we go. Let's boost forward. It's not actually going that fast, surprisingly. It doesn't seem that quick at all. Maybe I'm not doing something right. Or maybe it needs upgrades. Who knows? It's a similar sort of speed to the P996 laser. Maybe a little bit slower than that. Uh, have we got any special abilities? Oh, I'm pressing some buttons. Nothing's happening. We have got turrets. Just regular machine gun turrets. Uh, and that's the only thing we've got. A regular machine gun turret. Let's go to first person as well so we can take a look at this. Oh, the cockpit's kind of cool though. You can see some Russian here. It's a Russian uh, plane in real life. Really nice view as well. Really nice view. It looks cool. I like it. What do you guys think then so far? Are you guys satisfied with the uh, V65 Molotov? I want to go back now. I'm not going to fly around for too long. I want to go back and see what we can put on this thing in the terms of upgrades. Uh, because obviously Charlie, we've got Charlie in there in the workshop. Hopefully we can uh, upgrade this thing and put some stuff on. I'm hoping though, I'm hoping we haven't got to research any of the items. Otherwise, uh, this could take us a while. And I want to try and get through all the customizations if we can in this live stream. Um, so let's just quickly turn around. How many of you guys right now are already in GT Online uh, buying some of the planes? Let me know. When you put the, uh, the wheels down, it slows the plane down massively. I just realized that. Is it the same with the other planes, or is it just the uh, the new ones? What's that over there? Can you guys see that? Oh, it's my yacht. That's what it is. I didn't even realize my yacht was over there. It's like, oh, that's something weird. A little sea base. <laughs> it's just my yacht. All right, let's uh, fly around. Put our wheels down, wheels down, so we can go a little bit slower into the military base. I oh, will land on the runway over here as well. Right, we're inside the Fort San Kudo. We, we do have low-level clearance, because obviously our hangar is in Fort San Kudo. Uh, we'll have to like, test out and see what we can and can't do in terms of uh, when we come inside of here. And whether we'll get a wanted level, for example, for maybe stealing a random car or a jet that's not in use. Oh, look at the wings. Oh, the, the, the brakes. When I apply the brakes, there are things on the back. Open up. That's so cool. I like that. A little uh, wind brake. Right, let's bring it inside. Enter with the current vehicle. Look at that. That is so awesome. All right, let's go inside. So we only have nine vehicles and aircraft that are available today uh, out of the 20 or so that were leaked, which is maybe a little disappointing, but at the same time, it means that we're going to have some content over the next few weeks to enjoy. Let's modify this aircraft straight away. So we can apply some armor as speculated, just like on a regular car. 50,000 for the uh, military spec panels. We'll see later on what that's like in the terms of, uh, you know, protection. Uh, countermeasures. Right, it doesn't look like any of these are going to be upgrades, but we can put countermeasures on. So if you guys saw on the uh, on the newswire, on the newswire, sorry, the, the images that Rockstar released, uh, we can uh, like apply smoke. So we've got chaff. Deploy the chaff countermeasure to block incoming missile lock on capacity 10. Uh, we got the flare. Deploy the flare countermeasure to redirect incoming missiles. Capacity 20. So we can carry 20 of those. Uh, then we can uh, apply some smoke. So basically we can create a smoke trail and disorientate uh, pursuing aircraft. We have the color for all of those. On the newswire, uh, we saw the... Not the newswire, sorry. On social media, we saw the cyan smoke. That one right there, which is 68,000. I don't think we can have one of everything. Which one do I go for, though, guys? What do you think? Do we go for the chaff? The uh, deploy the chaff countermeasures to block incoming missiles. That can take up to 10. We've got the flare, which can take up to 20. I'm not really too sure which is better and which is not. Although, I think... Looking at it, that's 70,000. Chaff is 70,000. The flare is 110,000, so I'm, I'm guessing flare is much better. And then these are just regular uh, smokes for 68,500. Uh, most of you guys saying flare, so we're going to go for it. It is the most expensive thing. I guess we can always try out all of the uh, the upgrades as well. Maybe we'll come back in later on and we'll change it over and we'll see what they're like. Or we'll put one on a different plane if there's the option to go for a different countermeasure. We can add drop tanks, which doesn't do anything. It's just a cosmetic thing by the looks of things. But we'll put them on anyway just to uh, fully upgrade this and see what it looks like when flying around. We can put race handling on. Let's do that. Livery. We'll come back to livery in a few moments. We can respray it as well. I want to go to weapons first of all. We can put homing missiles on. That looks badass. Let's do that. What do you guys think about the drop tanks? I'm not actually really liking those that much. I might remove them. Uh, let's go to livery next. So we have none on right now. Although we have this red section on the front. We can go for the uh, the Russian one. The Chernov... I can't speak Russian. I'm terrible at pronouncing words. Uh, the vodka one, basically. That's kind of cool. Uh, it reminds me of the Russian one. Uh, we've got the numbers on it as well. The simple stars. That's cool. Uh, sprayed three color. The, uh, the arid three color. The desert tan. The two-tone, 
the forest three color. It's a shame we couldn't like choose our own numbers and stuff on it as well, but we can't unfortunately. Uh, we have the jungle fighter sprayed half camo. These are pretty similar to the ones we have for the gun running vehicles in fairness. Um, but yeah, there we go. Only 11. So far, my favorites are this one, the vodka one, the three simple stars, and uh, what was the other one I really liked? Which one was it? Actually, no, it might just be these two. These, these two are really cool. Although plain's quite nice, the plain one, and we could always just go for a different color. What do you guys think, though? Vodka? Or do we go for the simple stars? Let me know right now. I can see most people saying go for the vodka one already. Let me know right now, guys. Spam that chat. Okay, Vodka is the, the one you guys want to want to select. That's 18,000. We're going to go for that one. We can also respray it as well. Let's see if we can change uh, anything on this. So we can go for black if we wanted to. Do we go for black or do we go for... Because the, the gray was kind of nice, I thought. Uh, we can go for red as well, I guess. If we already wanted to. Scroll down. Pink. It's nice we can finally customize planes. Yellow. Yellow is kind of cool as well. Really stand out. I'm feeling go either going for black or just leaving it on the gray that it comes with stock. I always go for a matte color, I guess. A crew. That's my crew color. Uh, matte. Maybe matte will be better. What are you guys thinking in regards to color? What do we go for? Do we go for black or do we go for the sort of like grayer color? I think gray is quite quite nice. Like dark steel, maybe. Most of you guys are saying black. All right, let's go for black. Black it is. And I think that's pretty much it then for the customizations. We can actually sell these aircrafts as well. Uh, now, obviously, we've spent... Including the upgrades, we probably spent about 5 million on this one, and we only get about 2 million back. But, for the first time ever, we can sell aircrafts, uh, but only applies to the new ones. I doubt we can sell Pegasus ones, so don't get too excited. Um, yeah, so there we go. Let's exit the hangar right now, and go and check out the upgrades we fitted to this. So we obviously have the rockets, uh, we have the drop tanks, which I'm pretty sure don't do anything. Um, let me just quickly disable this radio, even though it's not on right now, just in case it does turn on. Um, oh, we'll just take off by here, should we? We should be okay doing that. Let me just fly away a little bit before we uh, apply or use any of the rockets, just in case they see it as a, uh, an attack. It feels faster already, but maybe it's just me uh, putting the, wing, uh, the, the wheels up. I do like the livery. The livery is pretty cool. Look at that. Let's go into uh, the cinematic view. That's cool. Right, let's swap over to the missiles. We can only use... Oh, actually, we can fire quite a few. I don't know if there's a limit or not. We'll just keep firing and see if there is a limit. I'm guessing no. What else do we have? Oh, we have homing off, and obviously back to machine gun. Okay, now how do we activate the flares? I'm going to try a few buttons. Oh, there we go, there we go. You press E. So basically the flares were 110,000, and it will redirect missiles. So if someone fires missiles at us, we have flares. First time ever. We only get 20 of those. I've fired 8 so far. There's 12. I don't know if it's each like shot, or the each shot is 4. We need to try that out. But we're at the sky barrier right now. Can we go higher? Rockstar increased the sky barrier. Can't figure that out or not. We are going pretty high. I don't feel like we're going any higher. Maybe there is no increase on that. Let's go straight back down. Fire some more. Okay, we're already out. Yeah, so every every shot is uh, four flares. So technically we only get five shots then uh, of flares. But that's, I'm guessing, enough if someone is, is shooting rocks at us. Uh, maybe having it unlimited would be OP. We'll test that out later on, though, when I get some people into the game. I want to customize all the vehicles first, and then we'll test out some of the stuff, like the speed, uh, the flares, obviously, the countermeasures. Uh, all we have to do now is to replenish those and go back into our hangar. So we're going to go and do that and move on to the next aircraft as well. Uh, so which one do you guys want to see next? We are starting off with the aircraft, so we'll move on to the cars later on. Uh, so let me know right now which one do you want to see next. We've uh, only done this one so far, the uh, Molotuk. Right, we're going inside now. Let's, uh, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll just stay in the air. Hopefully we can press E when we get pretty close instead of crashing into the, the base. Oh no! Stop, 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 stop. Hold E. There we go. It's all good. We're going to crash. Uh, we can see a, a big variety of suggestions coming in right now. Ultralight seems to be the more popular one. That or the Rogue. I want to go for the Ultralight. That's out of the ones which are being suggested right now. Are, well, it's the one that I want to do most. And I think you guys are mostly saying that. Uh, access the free trade shipping app. We'll do that later on. I'll get some players in. We can do that. Uh, right, let's move on to the ultralight. Again, we'll go outside, we'll drive around with it first, and then we'll come back and customize it and check out those. Obviously, we'll see what it's like stock, and then we'll upgrade it. We got a tip from Gorkbox Fan, who downloaded Angry Birds 2. Thank you for that tip, that's greatly appreciated. Again, if you, you can change your name on Gorkbox. 
so you can tip for free and your name will come up. So don't forget to do that. You enter an email, change your name, and that's it. And of course, if you guys want to check out Corkbox and tip for free, so you can donate and have your name come up on the screen just like that, there is a link in the description to that second link down. And uh, whilst we're just flying around with this, which I'm loving by the way, um, if you guys want to enter my shark card giveaway, we are giving away a shark card every single day worth three and a half million dollars. There'll be one later on. Uh, you can of course do so. There's a link in the description to that as well. I'd recommend doing so if you guys are short on cash, because uh, I'm gonna try and give away as many as possible over the next few days. Right. So this ultra right isn't particularly fast, as you guys can imagine. Uh, let's go to first person though. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool. This should be, just, it should be fun to like fly around in with a few friends. And uh, just do a few different like you know tricks and stunts and whatnot, and it looks cool. The dials don't think I don't think they actually work. Actually, that, that one is moving. Oh, what's what's the guy doing? Hey, hold on. He just like moved his hand somewhere. What did he do? Is he like waving? I can't figure out what he was doing. We can't use our weapons. He just like put his hand somewhere. Let's go into first person again. Do it again. Do it again. Whatever you were doing. Please, please, character, show me whatever you were doing, a little special animation. <laughs> I can't figure it out. Right, we're going to fly back down to uh, the military base again. I want to go check out some of the upgrades on this. Uh, it is just so fun. I tried out a mod version of this a couple days ago. If you try, guys tuned into that stream, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but that was loads of fun as well. And this thing is uh, just like that. So it looks almost identical, in fact, to the mod that I was using. Uh, so this is the ultralight. Not particularly fast, but hopefully there's going to be some upgrades for it. I don't see any uh, any special abilities that this thing has. We can't use any weapons. It does give you a parachute, though. Uh, pressing a couple buttons just in case we can do something. I don't see anything, though. Uh, so we'll fly back now as quickly as possible. It's not particularly fast. And see if we can go and up upgrade this thing. I know for sure it comes with uh, an option to add a gimbal turret. So basically we put a turret on the bottom of this thing, which will gimbal around, so wherever we're pointing, it will shoot. Unlike some of the vehicles, which obviously have machine guns fixed, and will only shoot in the direction in which you're facing. Uh, but this is different, this will shoot in any direction, which is good. Right, slow, come on, come down, come down. And again, if you guys have any suggestions for colour schemes on this one, we'll get into that very, very shortly, let me know. We're almost there. It doesn't look like we can enter the hangar uh, in the air, we'll have to be on the, on the ground. Oh my god, no! The turning circle is pretty bad in this thing, so let's uh, quickly spin around. I should have like uh, thought about that before we started. I thought it'd be alright though. It's moving so slowly, but obviously not. Come on. It's almost the size of the military base, this turning circle. For some reason I'm tilting my head in real life as well. I don't know why. <laughs> Even though it's in-game that we're turning around. Almost there. Oh, those are props just despawned. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Quick, hold the E button. There we go. <laughs> That's all good. Alright, we're going in there right now. Um, so this is the cheapest aircraft, I think. The ultralight. The cheapest thing on the update. Uh, but it's awesome. And just look at that going into the uh, into the uh, hangar. That was awesome. Oh, let's get back into it and quickly upgrade it. I forgot to do that. There we go. Let's hold the E button. Hopefully it's... Yep, it's an upgradable vehicle. Okay, so we can obviously add armor. I'm not too sure what the armor is actually going to do. Uh, there's not really any plating on this, but we'll we'll give it a try. We can put some countermeasures on here as well. The last time we went for flares, I want to try a different countermeasure. On this one, I want to go for the uh, the smoke. Uh, again, we'll come back to that though in a few moments, based upon what color we go for on the uh, the aircraft itself. Engine, let's upgrade that. I'm guessing that'll make it faster. And we'll put better handling on, because it was really bad, the turning then. Come back to delivery in a few moments. Propeller, I can extend that. And we can go for the muffled carbons, which make it quieter. So, I'm not too sure if the extensions make it any faster or not. It doesn't give us like a, a board, you know, like a, a sheet of stats. So, we're going to go for the muffled ones for now, and hopefully that is that is going to make it quieter. That's $315,000. Weapons, we can fit a turret on the front, not on the bottom, it's the, the front. Uh, so, we'll definitely go for that. Uh, we can't actually respray, but we can change the... Oh, yeah, we can. We can respray. What am I talking about? Uh, what color do we go for then, guys? Let me know right now what color do we go for on this. Uh, we can only change... Wait, can we change the secondary as well? Yeah, we can, we can. That's awesome. A donation from Poke Diamond 45 in the chat. Thank you, buddy. Guys, of course, hashtag Poke right now in the chat. Show sure appreciation for that super chat donation. Thank you, man. Uh, right, what, what color are we going to go for then, guys? Do we go something nice and bright, like a red? Red and black, maybe? <laughs> chrome. It was like, go, go for chrome. Chrome doesn't actually do anything, I think. At least inside, you can't really see it. I selected it. 
but I'm not gonna go for it. It was an accidental purchase. I wanna go for something like fairly bright, maybe like a yellow or a red. Let's try red. Red. Oh, we got uh, Chaotic tipped 86 cents by installing Kill Shop Bravo. Thank you for that tip, by the way. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, let's go to secondary and. Do we go for black as the secondary? We go for red and black on the other car. So do we go for the same thing again? Or the other not that car, we're talking about the other aircraft. We go for red all over. We could always go for red all over. That look, like kind of cool. Yeah, let's go for red all over. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then liberate. Let's go to that and see what we can put. Oh, we can put the. Can't really see it right now because it's all the angle we're at. Uh, but we have the the monitor investment and finance. Uh, we've got the Spencer's department store. We have the uh, Prolapse Train Hard E Cola. That's kind of cool. That goes well with the red light selected. Sprunk. So if we went for a green one. That would be really good as well. Uh, Flow Water. We have the Merryweather one. That's cool as well. I like that one. Uh, we've got a few camera ones for Merryweather, and that is it. So far, my favourites are the E Cola and the Merryweather. Which do you guys think? Uh, which one do you guys think? Let me know. And I have to change the colour as well. Uh, comment your sort of like suggestion. I think I'm going to go for the Merryweather Camo Digital Low because that is my favourite for 23,939,000. Um, so let's go for that one. And then countermeasures because we've gone for red. Let's go for red smoke. There it is, red smoke. 68,500. Uh, so let's go outside now and just take a look. No, I wanted to go out of the hangar, not off the vehicle. My bad, I selected the wrong option. Let's go outside. I want to take a look at some of the countermeasures and some of the upgrades that we've applied. Now, at first I said it was fairly slow. The question is, will this thing be faster? It's already quieter. Uh, with a muffled carbon pro uh, prop equipped with this aircraft, the radar will glide or accelerate gently. Gorkbox fan just tip $1. Thank you so much. Again, you guys can change your names on Gorkbox so I can give you an actual shout out rather than just saying Gorkbox fan. Uh, but whoever that was, that is greatly appreciated. Uh, if I press E, I'll enable or disable the smoke countermeasures. Let's do it. Will it just permanently stay on? It's going to have to run out eventually, surely. That's cool, though. Look at that there. The red smoke. I'll leave it on and see if it'll stay there. It might, might be ever forever. I doubt it, though. It might be, because you can see it's, it's slowly removing the trail. And it's not run out just yet. Well, whilst it's still going, we'll see if it does run out. To test that, uh, we can use the turret. So we have the machine gun turret, which, as you can see, is on a gimbal. So we can fire pretty much anywhere in front of us and below. It's like a, a regular machine gun. Gorkbox fan tip $1 again. Thank you so much. Again, if you change your name on Gorkbox, there's a link in the description. You can uh, have your name shouted out rather than just saying uh, the regular name. So don't forget to do that. You might have to create an account on there first to do it, but it'll take you a few seconds. It doesn't seem that powerful. It's like a regular machine gun, I guess. Uh, again, we'll try that later on. It doesn't look like, by the way, uh, that the, uh, the smoke ever runs out. The smoke is, like, permanent. But I guess it will make you stand out as you fly along, but if someone is directly behind you, um, then it is uh, it is pretty useful. Uh, I am Bates II, just tipped $1 by installing Zynga Poker on Gorkbox. Thank you for that free tip, that's greatly appreciated. Thank you, buddy. Let's fly back to the, uh, the military base. Uh, now, although we have an upgraded engine, it does feel a little faster, but it's not that fast. So that is one of the bear in mind with this aircraft, but still, super cool. Uh, we got a request from Geordie to go to the clothing store. Don't worry, man. We'll go to everything. We, we have every single store to go to. Uh, we still have all the cars to customize as well. And uh, a few other things to discuss. Uh, but we're going to start off with the uh, the aircraft first of all. And uh, then we'll go and customize the cars. Take a look at the clothing store, the ammunition, uh, and all those other places. Then I want to invite some players in. We're going to do some uh, of the, the new missions. Because obviously we, we now have a new business in the game. And... We've also got some testing to do as well in terms of speed, vehicles, and stuff like that. So it's going to be a long day, um, but it's going to be fun nevertheless, hopefully. Fingers crossed. A tip from Gamer171234, who tipped $1 by installing uh, Zynga Poker via Gorkbox. Thank you for that tip. That is greatly appreciated. There we go. Oh, no. Activate. There we go. Almost crashed. It's so good how you can just like, fly in that general direction and just hold the E button, and uh, it'll take us in. Alright then guys, which aircraft are we going to go for next? We've only seen two so far, the Martok and the uh, the Ultralight. So comment right now, which one do you want to see me do next? I think most of you guys are going to say the Tula, because this is the one which has VTOL. Uh, but if you guys have another suggestion, of course, let me know. We have the small little helicopter, the uh, Alpha Z1. We've got uh, this one as well, uh, the, the Rogue. Uh, I don't think the Cuban is actually customizable, but we'll see. Uh, a tip from Gorkbox fan, who tipped... Uh, $1 by installing Zynga Poker. Thank you for that. That's appreciated. Most of you guys right now are saying the Tula. 
Got a few suggestions for the uh, request for the uh, the MIG, which we've already actually customized and flown. But we'll come back and check, uh, check that out later on again. The side door opens on this one to get in. Uh, that's cool. Uh, we can modify it, but I want to go and drive around first. We have turrets in the front and a machine gun on the back, which means, of course, this thing will have... Uh, well, hopefully I can operate the turrets, which I can, yes. Oh, we get placed by here. Wait, hold on. So, hold H to move between the gun and turret. Let's, let's do that a moment. So we can go to the rear turret. Yeah, we can go to the rear turret and use that. That's cool. Uh, we'll use it in a few moments when we're flying. I don't want to shoot it inside here in case we get a wanted level for being in the military base. Uh, let's go back here, though. And we can then press E, I think. To E. I'm, I'm holding E. E's not doing anything. Let me just get out a moment and get straight back in. I am Welsh and proud. Tip 86 cents by installing Killshop Bravo on Gorgbox. Thank you for that tip. Big shout out to you, buddy. Right, hopefully it's going to give me that option now and tell me what I've got to press to activate uh, VTOL. If anyone just saw it, let me know uh, what button I've got to press, but I've already forgotten. Oh, there we go. I pressed it. It's, it's working now. The wings are going up. Oh my god, that's cool. And here we go. Let's activate VTOL. It's... Oh my god, it's so slow. We can put the wheels in, though. They're on the side right now, as you guys can see. It's sort of like sticking out. Is that, is that glitched? Is that how it's supposed to be? Alright, so we're VTOLing up right now. Vertical takeoff and landing. And let's put the wings back and fly forward. This thing does feel very slow. Uh, but it might just be the fact that it was the VTOL that was slow as opposed to the actual aircraft itself. And this is the one as well that can land in water, which I also want to try. I'm not sure what we have to do to make it land in water, and it might just be an upgrade. Uh, but we'll give it a try in a few moments. Maybe we'll go to upgrade it first before I do that, just in case it is something you've got to upgrade first. Uh, let's go into first person and check that out. Can't forget that. Pretty standard interior, nothing too special. Uh, we've got two seats back there, and there's a turret as well. So it must be a five-seater plane then, by the looks of things. A five-seater. Right, so we have the machine gun turrets. We've got two of those on the front. Alternate, uh, alternate in between the two. That's the only, uh, uh, only turret we can really use, apart from the one on the back, obviously. So let's uh, quickly swap to the other one on the back. See if we can do that. I'm holding the H button. Nothing's happening. It looks like when we're flying, we can't. We can't swap to it. Okay, it's only when we're stationary, or, of course, if there's someone in the plane with us who can operate that. It looks pretty powerful, though. Uh, we're going to fly back to the military base. We won't spend too long flying around with the standard planes. So I want to upgrade every single plane and get through all of them as, as quickly as we can, uh, within reason. Uh, somebody asked, where is the bomber plane? Uh, quite a few of these do have bombing upgrades. Uh, so hopefully this is one of those ones where we can use uh, the bomb feature. So hopefully we go and upgrade this one now. Uh, we'll have that feature, but we'll go and see. We'll go and see. Uh, somebody asked, how much is the hangar? The one which I bought was 3.5 million plus upgrades, bring it to about 5.4 million, I think it was. The cheapest one is at the airport, the, uh, Los, uh, the Los Santos Airport, which is 1.2 million, so it's not too expensive. Uh, right, VTOL activated, wheels down, and we'll bring it into land at the hangar. There we go, this is my hangar. Uh, DeAndre tipped one dollar by installing Zynga Poker. Thank you for that donation or tip. That is greatly appreciated. Thank you, buddy. All right, let's bring this uh, down. Oh, someone below me. Don't crash into him. He might give me a wanted level. I will just spin it around by here. There we go. And enter the hangar. Oh, that's so good looking. Such good looking plane. All right then, guys. We're gonna move. We're gonna go and customize this one. We'll check out what we have. Hopefully, there is the option to fit carpet bombing to this one. Let's see. We have weapons. Let's just quickly check that one straight away. Bombs. There we go. We can add explosive, incendiary, gas, or cluster. I think we're gonna go for cluster, uh, but we'll give it a, uh, a try in a few moments. And obviously, primary weapons. We can upgrade other turrets on here as well. But for now, let's start off from the top and make our way down. So upgrade the armor, countermeasures. Now, we've gone for the flare, we've gone for the smoke. I want to try out this uh, chaff one. Uh, I'm not so sure exactly what it does, so we're going to buy it. It's 70,000, and we'll give it a try now when we go outside. Upgrade the engine, we'll upgrade the handling, and delivery we'll come back to in a few moments. Although, that one's kind of cool. I might go for that one. I kind of like the grey colour as well, this, this plane's coming. We've also got this one, the uh, Bombardier, the See You Later, uh, the All Aboard one that we obviously saw in the trailer. We've got the uh, How High, we've also got the Air Emu, and we've got the Coast Guard one, and the Noose one, the National Office of Security Enforcement. All of these are really cool. My favorite so far has to be the Keep Running one, um, but let me know right now, guys, which one you guys like the most. Um, 
respray. Uh, I'll go back to that in a few moments. Thrust. We can add Jato thrust to it, which means we can take off much faster. This thing was pretty slow taking off. So you can see it adds rockets or like jets back here. I'm going to give that a try now in a few moments. That was uh, $200,000. Uh, bombs. I want to go for the cluster bombs and give that a try. It's 120000 um, Primary weapons. We can uh, go for dual or we can go for the minigun. I'm guessing the minigun is more powerful, so we'll go for that one. Uh, back to respray. Now, do we leave it on the stock grade that it comes in, which is kind of cool in my opinion, or do we go for something else? Like uh, in the trailer, I think, or on the news where we saw it in blue. Uh, we can always go. For, we've gone for red pretty much all the aircraft. We shouldn't go for red again. A tip from uh, I can't say his name uh, because of advertiser of friendly reasons, but uh, he downloaded Killshot Bravo, so thank you for that uh, tip. That is appreciated. Uh, we can go for orange. Ooh. What do you guys think? Let me know right now. Which one do we go for? Which color? And which livery, of course. I do like the stock stock gray. I, actually, I just accidentally selected the uh, that one there. I didn't mean to select that one. Let's go back to, I think it was Dark Steel we had. Both primary and secondary, I think. Primary and secondary, Dark Steel. What does that actually change? Oh, that one there. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the, uh, the, the stock Dark Steel while the looks of things. I'm going to put that livery on, the either keep running one, which looks pretty cool, we have like an, <laughs> an ostrich on the back, or we can go for the noose one, which is also kind of cool. Oh, let's go for the noose one, that's kind of nice, let's go for that one. You guys seem to like that one most. Uh, also, we can sell it as well, but yeah, I think that's it for the customizations then. Let's go back outside then, and take a look at some of these upgrades. They've got the J to look at, so we have the, oh, hold on, uh, press uh, left shift to activate, oh, okay, right, right. Let's do that right now. There we go. Whoa. Yeah. Really? Oh, it has to recharge. It lasts for quite some time, but it does help with the takeoff. But is that only forwards, or is that... Uh, is that when we're going up as well? Let's give that a try in a few moments. We can open the bomb doors. I've got to hold it. My bad. I pressed the wrong one. Welsh Dragon Rule just tip 50 cents by installing Battle Bay. Thank you, Welsh Dragon Rule, for that tip. That is appreciated. Let's hold the E button. Open the bomb doors. There we go. Okay, right. So we can tr uh, trigger the bombing camera. Let's do that. Oh, we can see where it like, drops in, basically. Uh, we've got the right control. Oh, is it R and control or right control? I think it must be right control uh, to drop a bomb. Let's do that. One singular bomb. Pretty go. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a cluster bomb. Oh, obviously it is, yeah. Can we drop numerous bombs? Is it possible to do that? Let's, let's see if we can do that right now. There is a limited, uh, limited number. Oh, we can, we can. We can drop numerous bombs. That's awesome. I think we only get about 50 of these, though, but I could be wrong. Let's drop some more of those. Boom. We won't really go, go too crazy right now in the stream in terms of, like, trying all the features out. We want to just uh, rush through everything. All right, we're going to fly back to the uh, the military base right now. But there we go. That was super, uh, super, super cool. Um, someone asked, can you drive on water? Oh, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. I did forget about that one. You just hold E to close the hatch. And uh, we've got to put the wheels up as well. Let's see if we can land in the water now, because this is supposedly a, an aquatic plane. So we should be able to. Watch it now just, like, fail miserably. Hopefully it's like this we have to do. Oh, no, not going to open the bomb doors. There we go. We got a tip from uh, the Coil YT for installing Killshot Bravo. Thank you, buddy. Right, bring it right down. Hopefully this is how you land in the water. I might be wrong though. Wish me luck guys. Don't sink, don't sink, don't sink. It's supposed to be aquatic. Yeah it is. It actually is as well. Let's uh, activate that so we can drive on water. So it is an aquatic plane. It's got a first person. Sweet. So this plane so far has the most features. We have Jato thrust. Uh, obviously you can VTOL, take off vertically. Uh, it's an aquatic plane. We can drop bombs with it. And there's a turret both front and back. One the pilot can operate and one a passenger can operate. So, so far, this is definitely the most equipped plane. Definitely the mul most multi-purpose, as Rockstar referred to it as on social media. Uh, it's not the fastest plane, but it's definitely one of the most useful ones. Let's take off and we can activate Jato Thrust. Why, why is it not activating? Is it, is it only that you can activate when you're taking off? Let's uh, give that a try. Bring it back down. Alright, bring it down. Come on. Nothing's, nothing's happening. Oh, maybe you have to have the wheels down. Is that what it is? 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, the wheels have to be... You have to be on... No, the wheels are even on down. I have no idea. Oh, well, JTO thrust. Little boost. That was kind of cool. Let's make our way, though, back to the hangar right now. And we'll drop this off. And we'll move on to the next plane. So we've taken a look so far at the Molotov, the Ultralight, and the Tula. We've now got uh, four more aircraft to look at. And then we'll move on to the cars. But which aircraft do we go for next? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're going to crash. Oh, no. I was hoping we could just hold the E button and go straight in. No way. Oh, no way. Oh, I can insure it, though, by calling Moore's Mutual. Let's do that. Oh, my God. How much is it going to be worth to insure? Please don't be much. A tip from Goldbox fan for installing a Zynga Poker. Thank you for that. Come on. Answer the phone. Why are you not answering? Morse Mutual. We're here to help. There we go. Oh, only a thousand. Okay. That's not much. That's not too bad. Oh, and very quickly. Do we have a new contact for Charlie? Because Charlie is our new mechanic. Let's just quickly check that and see if we do. Charlie. No, we don't. So how do we call him planes then? There must be an option on here to do that. I don't see an option though. Vehicles maybe? Uh, I don't know. Alright, bomb, bomb doors. I have no idea. Oh, we'll figure that out later on. We'll come back to that. Let's go back inside. Uh, Alright, we have just over a thousand likes right now. Thank you guys for that. Let's see if we can smash 2,000 likes on this stream though. So if you guys haven't dropped a like, do so right now. And let's see if we can smash 2,000 like right now. We have 4,500 people watching. Just a thousand of you guys have to drop a like. And if you guys do, comment hashtag likes in the chat. We'll do a few shouts as well for you guys dropping likes. So thank you guys in advance. So we can just smash that right now. Alright, so you guys are all requesting by the looks of things. The Hunter. We haven't got the Hunter unfortunately. We might go for the small helicopter next, or the Alpha Z1. I think we'll go for the Alpha Z1, because it's a little small baby airplane, which is supposed to be pretty fast as well. Um, so let's get straight into that. There we go. And go straight outside and see what this thing is like. It sounds so small. It's only a four-cylinder engine in this thing. It already feels quick. We've Oh my god, we've just taken off. It already feels quick. We'll put the, wing, uh, the wheels away. Oh my god. Wait, is it, is it going to put the wheels away? Yeah, there we go. Oh, they're away. I think. Oh, you can't put them away, I don't think. Right, we don't have any uh, any turrets, no special abilities. But it's it's fast, it feels quick. Look at that. It's a little small baby plane. It's so cute. It's not as small as I thought it was going to be, to be honest, but still. It's so agile as well. Look at that. It spin around so much. Before I crash it. <laughs> it feels fast. It feels agile. It feels good. Right, we're going to fly straight back, though, to the uh, Fort San Kudo military base. And uh, we're going to go and upgrade this straight away on our hangar. I'm interested to see what we can do to this thing. Shout out by the way to Dylan, who dropped the like on the stream. we got Snake as well, who dropped the like. Amazing James as well. Shout out to you. Uh, we got Anna as well in the chat, who dropped the like. Uh, a tip from uh, Exynox for $1. Thank you, buddy. That is appreciated. It's good to see it actually came through this time. Because for some reason, they don't, they don't show up all the time. But thank you, buddy. Big shout out to you. Let's get a hashtag right now for Exynox in the chat for tipping that donation. Uh, let's, uh, oh my god. No, slow, 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 slow. Let's go around the corner. Oh, we don't want to crash it again and uh, cause damage to these planes. Right. Sorry, guys. I'm really bad when it comes to flying, so I'm being as careful as possible. Wait, the plane is already smoking, I think. Wait. Yeah, there we go. I thought we were, we were stuck on the little yellow ramp thing then. Oh my god, it's, it's taking off and I'm not even trying. No, slow down, slow down. This thing accelerates so quickly. Slow down. I want to go into my hangar. Slow down. Oh my god, the brakes are terrible. The brakes are really bad. I'm trying to like turn it around right now. There we go. Oh my god, I'm like so worried we're going to crash it and, and break it. There we go. Shout out to Gamer as well, who dropped the like on the stream. Big shout out to Chili Boy uh, for installing Kill Shop Bravo via Gorkbox. You can go watch, you can tip for free. Thank you, buddy, that's appreciated. Alright, let's go inside. Let's go and check out the upgrades on this thing then. Enter hangar. Let's do that. And shout out to Harrison as well, very quickly, who dropped a like on the stream. We're at 1,500 likes, guys. 500 away from the like goal of 2,000. Do so, comment hashtag likes. We'll do some more shout outs now in a few moments. But let's modify this aircraft first. Alright then, so upgrade the armor. There's no brake upgrades, unfortunately, uh, which is a little bit annoying because uh, the brakes were not very good on this aircraft. Um, so, so far we've gone for the chaff, which we didn't actually try out. I completely forgot to do that. Um, so let me, let me get that again, and we'll give that a try. Uh, shout out by the way to, uh, Dan again, who just, uh, installed Battle Bay 
on Gork Box. Thank you, buddy. Remind me, guys, to use chaff when we uh, are flying around so we can give it a try. Upgrade the engine, upgrade the handling as well. This thing's already agile, so I'll, I'll be very interested to see what that's like. And um, we can fit livery as well to this thing. Let's take a look at these. So we've got the Alpha Racing Team, which I think we've already seen uh, on social media. We've got the Play Outside, which is like a little child's uh, like ball one. Uh, the Piss Wasser one. And we have E. Cola. We've got the Sunday Fruity Ice. The Sprunk one's kind of nice. We might go for that one. Uh, Ron's Gas Station and Flow Water. I'm going to go for the Sprunk one. And we're going to respray this thing straight away to green. There are no weapons on this one. Oh, wait. Black's kind of cool as well. Do we go for green or black? Let me know right now, guys. Uh, we've got uh, EWXP who just tipped 86 cents by installing Killshot Bravo on Gorkbox. Thank you for that tip. That is appreciated. We'll scroll down. Let me know, guys, if you have any suggestions for the color we should go for on the primary. Black was kind of cool. Maybe uh, green, though. Like a dark green? What do you guys think about dark green? Can't really see too much right now, but... Uh, yeah, maybe we'll go for a regular green. Gasoline green could be good. Or that regular green there. It's, it's so hard to see. Bright green. Well, let's go for bright, bright green right now. Bright green. Although, we had a suggestion for white, and that could look pretty good as well. So let's go down to white and just check that out. Just in case... We haven't gone through all the colors. Ice white. Oh, I'm not so sure because the engine is black. Uh, secondary color, we can change that as well. Oh, that's, oh, that's why the engine was black. Oh, we'll go for green anyway, though. Race. Is it racing green we went for? Or is it uh, bright green? It was bright green. There we go. All right. We can't change the color of the propeller by the looks of things. Nothing too crazy in the terms of upgrades for this uh, this aircraft, but it's only a small one, uh, and it's, it's going to be pretty nimble and just fun to use, I guess. Let's uh, take off, though. Already feels better. It feels faster already with the up uh, engine upgrade. It's quite a noticeable difference. All right, press E to activate the chaff. Let's do that. Oh, okay. That's that just completely stops the missiles. So when someone's firing a missile at you, you. Wait, hold on. You gotta. Wait, hold on. Wait. You must wait for the current chaff countermeasure to disperse before you can deploy another. There we go. Oh, so you only fire like one every ten seconds or so. Those things. All right. Okay. That's still pretty cool. I think the flare one so far is my favorite. It's the most expensive at 100,000, but that's definitely the best countermeasure that we've seen. This thing, look at that. This handles so well. Look at that, I'm just like flying around in circles right now, and that's just so, so agile. It's going to be such a fun plane to use uh, in like little dogfights and just uh, flying around in free mode doing stunts and stuff. Super cool. Shout out to It's Jay Everett, by the way, for dropping a like on the stream. We got Max Willis, uh, Williamson as well, who dropped a like. Big shout out to you, buddy. And to Sean as well. Thank you, guys. For all the support. We'll make our way though back to the uh, military base right now and uh, we'll move on to the next aircraft. I know we're like going through these pretty quickly but I want to try and go through all the stuff uh, at, you know in this stream and it's going to be quite a long one otherwise um, because I want to go through some testing stuff and I also want to uh, do some of the business as well. The new business stuff. Oh slow down slow down slow down. Stop. The brakes are bad. Got a one dollar tip from Goldbox fan. Again if you create an account on the website uh, and use an email and uh, name you can actually put your name on there as well. Oh my god, the brakes are so bad. No! The brakes are so bad, it didn't stop the entire time we were trying to slow down there. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, guys. We crashed. That is super annoying. Hopefully we can request a vehicle, though, to my location. Now that we have, uh... Yeah, now that we have a, a locate Oh, like a, a, a hangar in the military base. Can we get a rip in the chat, please, guys? I apologize. That was completely my fault. Uh, and, oh, there we go, there's my car as well. The, uh, Vigioni spawned in. We expect the there we go, let's ensure sure. that. It's only a thousand for the insurance, but it's not too bad. And I apologize, guys. Uh, my flying is pretty bad. But the brakes, the brakes on the thing are terrible too. Um, yeah, so we can now spawn in, uh, cars and stuff in the military base. But I'm guessing that only applies if you actually own a hangar at the military base, like myself. Uh, but that's nice to know. A little tip right there. Alright, so we're gonna park it alongside here again. Bye right there, sweet. The new supercar, which we will customize later on, guys. Don't worry. I know you guys are looking forward to that one as well. Right, let's go into our hangar and move on to the next one. Apparently, the live stream is lagging. Just refresh the live stream if it is lagging for you. It shouldn't be lagging. If it is, again, let me know and I can definitely fix that. All right, let's uh, go into the hangar. Right, so we so far have done the Tula. We have done the Alpha Z1. We've done the... Uh, Volatok, and we've also customized the ultralight as well. We only have three left to do, so the little helicopter. We've got uh, this one right here, the Rogue. I'm not too sure if the carbon or the, the Cuban is customizable. Let's get into it right now and see if we can. So I haven't actually bought this plane. 
It's just one the hangers come with, as far as I'm aware of. So let me quickly get into it and see if we can actually uh, customize it. We can, we can modify the Cuban. All right, we'll come back to that in a few moments. I want to do the other new ones first, and then we'll do that one. Uh, maybe we can store other aircrafts in here as well. We have space at the front, so we might be able to store some of the other aircrafts. I'm not too sure. That or it's just space for the other ones which haven't been released yet. There are still quite a few to be released. So, guys, do we go for the helicopter? Do we go for the Rogue? Or do we go for this one right here, the Starling? Let me know right now in the chat. I think most people, from what I can see, are saying either helicopter or they're saying the Rogue. Apparently there is no lag. If there is, if for some reason the stream is lagging, just refresh the page and that should fix the issue. Yeah, most of you guys saying the helicopter. Let's go for the helicopter then. The one-seater. How are we going to get into this? Oh, it like, puts the uh, the glass panel thing forward. That's cool. All right, I want to go outside and fly it around first before we customize it. And it brings it out for us. We might already be in the air as we, uh, as we fly out. There we go. Oh, we're already in the air. There we go. A little small, tiny little thing. All the havoc. It's going to first person as well. Don't oh, forget first person. Whoa, that's weird. You can't even see the glass that much. It's like moving it around. That's so cool. So much visibility. So yeah, there we go. I don't think it has any special abilities from stock. There's no weapons. Uh, e, H. No, nothing's nothing actually happening. But there are quite a few customizations for this thing. I think definitely a turret upgrade. So we'll take a look at that very very shortly. Uh, but. It seems pretty cool. But fairly sort of like similar speed to the uh, the buzzard by the looks of things. Um, so we won't spend too much time flying around. It does seem pretty agile though. You can see that it wants to uh, to move around quite a bit. Um, so that'll be pretty fun to use. But yeah, let's go back to the uh, hangar right now and get straight into the upgrades and customizations on this one. Uh, so we've definitely got a turret, that's for sure. Uh, we saw in the trailer as well, this thing does have the option to pick up crates. So maybe there'll be a crane option. Um, but I, I don't know, that's any, like a guess. We'll see though. Let's bring it in. Hey, please don't crash, please don't crash. We've already crashed two. Slowly, 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 slowly. There we go. We crashed it. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to the local, by the way, for dropping a like on the stream. Apparently the lag. Some people it's lagging for them, other people it's not. It's not lagging for everyone, so just refresh the page and that'll fix the problem. I do apologize if it is for some people. It's just a YouTube issue, I'm sure. Right, so let's go and modify this straight away. Armor. Upgrade, counter measures, again, just standard stuff. Uh, we'll come back to that in a few moments. We'll probably go for a smoke one on this one. Uh, actually, no, we might go for the flares. Let's go for the flares, because that's the best one. Uh, engine, let's upgrade that so it's a little faster. Handling, it's already pretty agile, but we'll go for that one. We'll go for the uh, the best race handling. Uh, livery, let's take a look at those. So we can go for the, the Havoc Basic, which adds a star there, and Nagasaki on the side. Um, we've got the Havoc Sticker Bomb, which adds loads of sticky bomb, uh, sticker bomb on the uh, the legs. Uh, and then we've got the Sprunk Essence Bomb, which is kind of nice. The Havoc Masters. The Meteorite is kind of nice. Fleeker Bank, the LNC, and E. Cola. Let's go for the Fleeker Bank one. Uh, then Respray. Let's go for... Let's look at some of the options. Maybe White. Inside here, it's not like that great to really see. I think I'm going to go for a White one. Maybe the, uh, the Frost White. We can always go for a grey. Let's try grey. No, it's pretty, pretty boring. We'll try green very quickly as well, just in case. But if you guys have any ideas or suggestions in terms of colours, let me know right now. Uh, green. Oh, no. We're going to go for the white one because the, the wing is white as well. Uh, I am Bates. I, I just tipped a dollar by installing Angry Birds via Gork Box. Thank you for that tip. That is greatly appreciated. Big shout out to you, buddy. Uh, let's go for the frost white one then. Green was kind of nice as well, but I'm going to go for uh, white, I think. Uh, when we go outside, I might change my mind because of the color. The sort of like lighting here is not great. And secondary, wait, is the secondary? Oh, the secondary is that back thing. Is the back wing? I thought that wouldn't wouldn't be changeable. Oh well, never mind. We'll just leave it as it is. I'm not too bothered. And then weapons, we can fit a 50 cal to the front for almost 200,000. Let's do that. Let's exit the hangar straight away and just check out some of these upgrades we've now applied. We'll fly away from here. Uh, you guys are asking if I can read out the prices of each of these as we customize them. Oops, my god, we're, we're like falling down, what the hell? Uh, I'm actually not really liking the uh, the respray we've gone for. Might have to change that. Uh, I can't remember the price off the top of my head, but we can go through those again once I've customized all the vehicles, if that makes it any easier for you guys, um, so don't worry. Okay, wait, we've now got the 50 cal, which seems pretty powerful. It's not on the gimbal, so wherever the front is pointing is where it's going to shoot by looks of things. We can activate flares, there are the countermeasures. We'll wait for those to uh, extinguish before we can apply any more. Try again. There we go. 
four flares fight uh well two either side and first person again yeah i like this helicopter this is gonna be a fun one to use there was no crane option so it looks like certain missions you'll just have the option to pick them up it's not an actual upgrade you've got to fit i'm gonna tip from pickle rick tipping uh tip one dollar by installing angry birds 2 on cork box thank you for that buddy thank you for that free tip that is appreciated let's uh bring it in now to port san kudo and land it in the hangar. There we go. Activate. Tip from Gorgbox fan as well for installing Battle Bay. Thank you for that tip as well. Some people saying there's lag. Some people saying there's not. Just refresh the page, guys. That should fix it. It's not lagging, I don't think. Uh, not on my end, at least. I don't see any lag. So it should be okay. Um, right. So what we're going to do next, guys. we got a choice of three. Uh, it's either going to be the Rogue or it's going to be that one over there, the Starling. Uh, we'll use the, well, we might do the carbon, the, the carbon, the, the, the Cuban later on. It's not a new vehicle. Um, so we'll do that one last. Okay, most people saying rogue. Okay, we're going to go for the rogue next then. Let's get into that one. Apparently, if you do, wait, if you do some of the missions, you unlock more vehicles. Is that true? If that's true, then we're going to go and do some missions in this stream. That's awesome. Okay, we might as well just take off by here, if it'll do it. Take off, take off, take off. No, we're gonna crash, we're gonna crash! No way! Okay, it needs a lot more space there to take off. I was completely wrong. I thought it would be able to take off straight away. Never mind. You guys were not gonna be like, oh, he's such a noob. I'm not good when it comes to flying. Let's try again. Oh my god, it seems like really struggling. Alright, wheels away. Oh my god, take off, take off! <laughs> it doesn't want to go up. It doesn't like going up. This is the Rogue. The P51, I think. Go to first person very quickly. Pretty standard uh, sort of like luck. There's no turrets in this thing from standard by the looks of things. It's not, it's not the P51. It's the P51 did come with turrets from standard. The, the engine's already smoking because we crashed slightly. That's so bad. Was it just the exhaust? No, it's, it's already smoking on one side because we crashed. It's not going to be a very strong plane then. Maybe not worth buying this one. Especially if there are more we can unlock. Let's uh, put the wheels down. And make our way back to the hangar. Right, slow down, slow, slow, slow. Okay, the brakes do work on this one, unlike the Alpha Z1. That was a very abrupt stop then. A very abrupt stop. Come on. Oh my god, why is it smoking so much? Smoking so much, oh my god. Oh well, here we go. Into the hangar. Done, okay. Let's move on and see if we can put on this in the terms of customizations. So once you don't know how to fly, I, I'm not a professional pilot, I can confirm. Please don't roast me in the chat for too long. Alright, a few upgrades for this one as well. Pretty standard stuff. Upgrades, countermeasures, we will just go for flares in this one again because they're just the best one. Uh, upgrade, let's put the uh, engine on. Best engine, best handling. Uh, livery, okay. We've got 11 options in this category. Uh, we've got the LTD gas one. We have the uh, operative one operative one uh we've got the rogue operative we have the green baron which is kind of a flag a tip from gorkbox fan for installing battle bait thank you for that tip again if you install so if you if you log into the platform you can change the name on there so you can put whatever you want otherwise it'll just say gorkbox fan but thank you for that tip whoever it was the red devil we've got the golden kid we've also got the wonder kid the racer the rogue racer the fighter and that is the final one which one do you guys like the most? Let me know right now. Which one do you guys like the most? I'm not really fast on any of these, if I'm honest. Maybe this one, the operative, or the rogue operative, which is the other way. That one, or it's going to be... Maybe the fighter one? I don't know. I don't really like any of these that much. Comment right now, which one do you guys think we should go for? Fighter, Wonder Kid, someone said. Uh, we've got the LTD, fighter. Most people say the fighter. Or rogue racer. I'm going to rogue race. Oh, yeah, we do. The rogue racer, there it is. LTD, most either fighter or rogue racer. That seems to be the one that's popular. Okay, we'll go for the ro the fighter one then. That's the one that seems to be commented the most in the chat. Let's do that. Then respray. Let's see what we have in the terms of options. Um, so it's kind of like a black and yellow, uh, black and what am I saying? Black and white livery. We've already gone for red on two planes. We're already red again. Uh, yellow, yellow looks kind of cool. Goes well with the, the secondary red color that we have. Um, so maybe we'll go yellow or bright orange. It's, it, it's effectively yellow, but yeah, bright orange. And we'll do the same on secondary as well, I think. Uh, where is, there it is. It's further up. 
this way. We can always go for black as well. Right, so it's either going to be black or it's going to be red. Where is... Oh, sorry, orange. Orange. Orange is kind of cool. Hmm. Oh, let's go for black. Yeah, let's go for black. So you can see around the window, um, we have that like, like black, black outline. Let's do that. Exactly black. 420! Let's go to hashtag blaze it right now in the chat, guys. It's 420. It's definitely one we're going to choose if it's 420. And then onto res uh, sorry, onto bombs. So this one does drop bombs as well. We had cluster last time. Let's choose a different one so we can see what those are like. Gas, uh, incinery, which I'm guessing is the fire one. Or we can go for explosive. Let's try the fire one, incinery. Uh, and then primary weapons, we can put... Oh yeah, there we go. We can put some weapons on so we can go for the machine guns or explosive cannons. They sound good. That's 240,000. And then secondary weapons, we can put homing missiles on as well. So although stock, it's a pretty useless plane, there are loads of really good upgrade, uh, upgrades for this thing. So let's do that. Let's now go outside and check out the weapons on this thing. And of course the bombs feature as well. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. We need some, some more runway. It didn't take off very well last time. So let's go onto the uh, the airstrip. Here we go. Right, yellow and black is what we've gone for on this one. I will right, we'll move away from the uh, the airport or the airfield before we start firing weapons. I know what will happen otherwise. Alright, so we have the regular machine gun then. Which, are, oh my god, no. I've got, a, I've got a water level. Which I think it said it was explosive, right? It is, it is explosive. It, it fires explosive rounds. That will be really good to use against other aircrafts. Uh, we can then swap across to the missiles, which I'm guessing are just standard missiles. Yeah, that fire from, from either side. Okay. Uh, and now we want to activate the bombs. Oh, there's the flares. How do we open the bay doors again? I've already forgot. Is it hold H? No, it's maybe hold E. Yeah, there we go. Hold E. Opens the bomb doors. And we're going to drop some bombs. Here we go. Nothing happened. Why, why did nothing happen? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. That's why. So many different uh, controls here on PC. We'll fly this way. There we go. Just want to try it out. I don't really care if it blows something up. There we go. Just drop one bomb. It's uh, a fire one. Is it going to land? I can't, I can't see it anymore. <laughs> it took so long to land. Let's go a bit lower so we can actually see it when it does land. Right, and we'll slow the aircraft right down as well. There we go. Oh, not that slow. Not that slow. We're going to crash. Oh my god. There we go. Drop that incendiary one. Please drop fairly quickly. There we go. I'm guessing it sets fire to things as well. It's not just explosive. So there we go. Quite a few things that we can fit to this one. The Rogue. Uh, so far I'm loving it. It's, it's cool. Like it's not particularly fast. Not as fast as I thought it was going to be to be honest. But loads of weapon upgrades. We can drop bombs. Just close the hatch right now. There we go. And obviously we have the uh, uh, missiles and we have the explosive rounds MG on this thing. So this thing is really well weaponized. Uh, not quite as multi-purpose as the Tula. That so far is my favorite uh, aircraft or like plane. Um, because that thing is just has the ability to do everything. It can VTOL, it has JTO thrust. So like a little boost forward. Uh, and obviously it can land on water as well. I think it's just like the all-round best thing that you can get in game. It's not particularly fast, but uh, it's, it's certainly going to be very useful. And has the most seats as well out of all the planes available in the update. Right, let's bring this to a stop. Take it back to the hangar. Oh my gosh, I threw the camera angle at the plane. Let's go back over there right now. Someone said, please crash. <laughs> Don't worry, you're only going to ask for that. I probably will. And back over to my hangar. And we'll move on to the next plane. There's only one final one we haven't done. And that is the... The Starling. That's the only one we haven't done that's new. Obviously, there's also the... Um, the Cuban 800 as well. But it's not really a new plane. So I'm not going to fly that one. We'll just upgrade it. Somebody asked how much have you spent so far. Um, good question. Oh my god, I had 80 million in my uh, is that in my bank account or wallet before we started, and now I have less than 50 million. So I've already spent over 30 million buying and upgrading these uh, these aircrafts and the hangar and stuff. 30 million. I estimated it to be around about 25 to 30 million. So we're already over that. The spending spree is uh, up to 50 million because that's the sort of like amount that I'd uh, spend at the maximum. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's take the starting outside then. Our final one uh, that's new that uh, we can get in the game. That rear wheel doesn't actually move. That's kind of annoying. Neither's the front one. Is that, is that glitched out? Starling is flown using a rocket boost. Why are the wheels not moving? Is that, is that how it's supposed to be? The wheels don't move. This thing is super slow. Now if we press left shift, I think it was. 
There we go. It takes off via a boost. Which you, you can see it lasts for quite some time. Right, we can deactivate that. I'm guessing it recharges. Does it recharge? Let's put the wheels away. We can. No, you can't put the wheels away. I think it does recharge. I can't tell if it is. If it is, it's going very slowly. You can deactivate it whenever you want. I don't. I think it is recharging just very, very slowly. We can hold it on if we want to, so we can just keep on going. Uh, but it might be a waste. You might want to like, only use a little bit and just keep a little bit there, just in case for those uh, those moments we got to get out there. Um, but from stock, by the looks of things, uh, we do have a machine gun turret. So let's uh, check that one out. That's one on either side of the plane. Uh, that's the only one we've got. I'm guessing we can upgrade though and put some missiles on. Oh wow, look at that! We have like a little aim thing as well on there. That's cool. A uh, little break thing by there, whatever that is. Pretty, uh, pretty cool interior, if I may say so myself. Only a little small plane, nothing too special, I don't think. Um, yeah, let's make our way back. Oh, yeah, the boost just recharged. So the boost does recharge. Then I can, I can say that for sure. Although, I'm trying to use the, use the boost right now, and it's not doing anything. Why is that? Why is it going down? Why is the plane going down? I can't activate boost. Why is the boost not working? It, the boost, I think it's broken. The plane is broken. It won't, it won't go anywhere. Why is that? Alright, we'll try and maybe touch, touch down on the ground. Maybe I'll fix it. No, it doesn't. I think this plane's broken. Unless I'm doing something wrong. No, we're gonna crush. The boost just doesn't work. Guys, any suggestions? We've landed, but it's just not... It's not activating. It's already on fire. What? This plane is so weak. The boost doesn't want to work. I'm holding down the forward button. Right. We can't deactivate the machine gun turret. It's not because of that. We got a tip from Riker Biker 56 We tipped 50 cents. Thank you, buddy. Big shout out to you. Why is it not? It doesn't work. I'm just going to press everything right now and see if we can activate it. I think the plane is destroyed. <laughs> no way. Hold it down. Oh, there we go. It's working again. What the hell? That's weird. It didn't work for for so long. Even though the boost was there, we weren't out of boost. We had plenty with a full full bar. I'm guessing that was just a glitch or bug. We'll see though. Let's see if I can do it again. Yeah, it's working again. I can't see anything right now because it's so dark, but it's so foggy. That's so weird. Why did it work then and not before? Uh, tip from the mail, uh, Kesley. Tip 86 cents by installing Killshot Bravo on Gorkbox. Thank you for that tip. Come on, break. Break is it's on fire. This thing is on fire. The brakes are not working. Let's quickly boost around the other way. Deactivate boost. Maybe we'll just parachute out and, uh, and leave it. But I do want to upgrade this thing. So we don't want to do that just yet. Right. Break. Break, 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 break. Brakes are not good. Stop, stop, stop driving. Please stop. I'm trying so hard. The brakes on these new planes are not very good at all. It's... It doesn't want to stop. We've just hit 2,000 likes as well, guys. Thank you for the support. Right, let's uh, quickly... Oh, no, 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 no! Rip. It wasn't moving, so I pressed the boost button, thinking, oh, it'd only be a little bit, and it just went straight into the building. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, guys. Let's get a hashtag rip in the chat right now. I'm calling Moors. Please ensure. Come on, answer the phone. Moors Mutual, how can I be of service? So, so, such a noob. Oh, I know. I know, that was such a newbie move. I should have just, like, waited and just gone slowly, but it was... It didn't want to go quick for me. I don't want to, like, you know, go, like, two miles an hour. Oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> I can't believe that. I'm so bad at this. It's definitely not the update for me, but I do love it, nevertheless. Shout out, by the way, to PS Gamer, who just subscribed. Welcome. So we have one aircraft left, then, that we can buy. Uh, to, well, sorry. One aircraft left to customize. And then we have this one, uh, then, to check out the Cuban, which isn't new, but we can customize it. It came with the... Uh, the, uh, the hangar, by the looks of things. I don't know if it's one that you had to buy. It comes in here anyway. I don't know. But uh, it was in here when I when I came in. Um, so let's quickly uh, upgrade this aircraft then. We can add some armor. Please say there's brake options. There's not. Uh, let's go for... 
Let's go for the flares again. They're definitely the best. I love those. Oh, we can add some bombs. Now, we've already tried the incinerary. We've tried the cluster. Let's go for the uh, the gas ones. Handling. Let's upgrade that. Livery. We've got a few options here. We've got winter spray. Uh, stars and stripes. Uh, we can go for the dazzle. The falcon. Uh, we can go for the falcon 2. Air force. Uh, we've got the redwood. The sprunk. The stargazer. And one final one. Yes, Mr. Unicorn. Yeah, let's go for that one. That's cool. <laughs> let's just do that one. And we'll change the respray to... Uh, I think it just changes... Oh, it's just like the overlay. We won't change the primary and secondary, though. Should change the underside. Let's see if we can match up that pink. I'm guessing it's like a salmon pink. No, it's not. It's not quite pink. That's that's a bit annoying. What color do we go for instead, then, guys? Go for black, maybe? Just a regular black for the underside. Or leave it on the gray that it was at. Or maybe white. Let's try white. Ice white. Yeah, we'll go for ice, uh, ice white. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. It's like a little joke aircraft. It is a bit of a joke, this one. We can put homing missiles on the side. That's awesome. I like that. It might be limited, though, to just like six, because we can only see six on there, but I uh, will see. Um, we've got one final one, the thrust. Okay, so we can put the rocket boost upgrade, which is 200,000, increases the uh, the tank on it. Okay, so the tank only lasts about sort of like 10 seconds or so, so hopefully that now increases it uh, by a fair bit. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's it for the upgrades on this one. Nothing too special again. They all seem very similar, like a livery, armor upgrades, engine upgrades, and that's that's it. Let's uh, activate the boost and go. Yeah, okay, I want to try out a few things. First of all, the flares. Activate those. <laughs> I'm loving the livery on this right now. The boost is lasting for a lot longer. Look at that. We had the boost on them for a fair amount of time. We've still got about uh, three quarters or so of the, the boost remaining, and it recharges as well, which is nice. Let's open the uh, the bomb doors. And let's drop some of these gas bombs. Let's go slightly further down. And uh, we'll give it a try. So we press. It's that button. No, it's not, not that one. It's the... Oh, my God. Right control. Drop a load of those so we can actually see them. Hopefully they drop so we can see them in action. There it is. They explode and then activate some gas, I'm guessing. Yeah, you can see it now. You can see the gas activating. That's cool. And then we have the missiles to try out. So... How do I activate those? Oh, there we go. Whoa! What? Where, where, where'd it go? Where, where did it go? <laughs> I just dropped the missile. Oh, it just goes straight down. Really? Just about to see it. it didn't explode that one. Well, we can drop loads and loads of these missiles. That's cool. On the road right now. Oh, can't see them explode. I still, I have, I feel like I'm limited of them by the looks of things. Are they definitely coming from the side. No, it's coming from the um, from the middle of the plane. It's dropping the bombs from in there. So let me close the chute. Oh, there we go. So now we have. Oh, so it was dropping missiles. It was dropping like bombs, and we have incendiary uh, bombs as well. So we have two lots of bombs then. Let's open that uh, hatch back up. Activate the boost again just to uh, keep the speed going. So we can drop the gas ones, I think. They're two separate ones. Oops, I'm still the charge. I'm pretty sure they're two separate ones. I can't figure that out. Some of you guys saying it's not, it's the same one. Apparently, the person commentating right now is not chaotic. It sounds different. I am chaotic. <laughs> Maybe I'm pressing like a different button and the same bomb is dropping. Maybe it's that's the case. I can't really figure that out, guys. I think it's just the same one. Maybe I am wrong. All right, let's let's fly back though. Let's fly back. We have one more plane to customize in our hangar. That being the Cuban, which isn't new, uh, but it was in the hangar when I bought it. So let's go and see if we can actually apply anything to that. So an old plane is customizable. Apparently they are different. I'm really confused to be honest. Oh, we we're out of boost. Hopefully we won't crash this time like we did the first time when we come into land. Right, let's uh, already activate the brakes because the brakes on this thing aren't good. All right, we'll try and land the main. Oh, we'll, just, we'll go sort of towards the uh, the hangar. Like we're still hold the boost to the brake down. Nothing is like slowing. No, go down, go down. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my God, stop, stop. No, stop. Okay, the the, the brakes on this thing are terrible. Oh my God. This is like something I'm missing. Is there a button I've got to press, like activate uh, a windbreak or something? I'm just using the regular brakes. 
Uh, someone said customize the buzzard and cargo well. That is a good point. I didn't think about those. Is there a way of customizing those? Quickly, like, uh, should I activate the boost? Oh, no. I know what happens if I activate the boost. No, stop, 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 stop. Whoa. Oh my god, that was, that was bad. Pull the E button. There we go. Oh, I thought we were going to crash again. I thought we were going to crash. All right, yeah. We'll see if we can customize the buzzard and the uh, and the cargo bob as well. Obviously, we saw those in the trailer, but whether we can actually do that or not, I do not know. But we'll give it a try. First of all, though, I want to see if we can actually uh, if we can actually customize this Cuban because it was in here already when I bought the uh, the base. So let's see if we can do it. Let's get in there. All right, okay, so we can only put bombs on here. Okay, that's still kind of cool. Let's go for... We've already gone for incendiary gas and clusters. So we'll go for the explosive ones on this one. Respray. It's kind of a cool color right now, so I won't change that. And we can... Oh, remove this aircraft from your hangar. Right, so we don't actually have to have this one if we don't want. Maybe we can replace that with another, another plane? I don't know. Let's go outside first, though, and just check out this thing. It does seem to be like a standard Cuban, but maybe there is something special about this one. That's why we get it. Um, so let's begin to fly. Fly. There we go. Then open the bomb doors. Let's do that. Alright, so we have engage carpet bombing. Right, I'll hold it and we can engage carpet bombing. Let's do that. I'm holding it right now. Oh my god! So many dropped. Look at that. That's cool. That is so cool. Let's do that again on the road this time. Here we go. You ready? So we hold down, was it the... We're doing it again. I think we're going to miss the road, though. Oh, we got it, we got it. So we can carpet bomb. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, let's make our way back to the uh, the base, though. Because there's nothing new about this plane, apart from the upgrades, obviously. So obviously there is that, uh, that bit of speculation going on right now. Can we customize the cargo bob and the buzzard? If anyone knows, let me know right down in the chat. Uh, but I think I own uh, a cargo bob, so we can definitely give that a try. Uh, if, if, of course, we can take it inside uh, apparently there is you can get the hunter you have to unlock it first okay if there is a way of getting the hunter I will try and unlock that in this stream I want to customize the cars first though there's, there's so many things we have to do and I want to do it all at once and obviously it's impossible but uh, what we will do is we'll, we'll check that out now if we can on the laptop we'll probably have to be in a public session so as a try the Hydra I don't think we can customize the Hydra we can definitely buy the P996 laser though we know that much um, but there is no option on the website to get it, so maybe it's something we have to unlock. I don't know. Right, let's bring it around. Enter inside. Alright, let's go in, let's go in, let's go in. Come on. Faster, faster, faster. I want to check out some of this stuff. Right, I'll see if there's a way, first of all, to bring in some of our Pegasus vehicles. I'm guessing no, but uh, there might be like an option in maybe the workshop. Or in the... I don't know, maybe the... the is there like a blue circle where we can move stuff around? I don't see anything by here. A tip from uh, Cheek Break by installing Angry Birds on Gorkbox. Thank you for that tip. That is appreciated. I don't see any options anywhere to move vehicles around. If anyone has any ideas or suggestions, let me know. Maybe it's not possible to customize those then. Now let's go upstairs to the laptop and see if we can activate those missions. Apparently we can unlock the Hunter by doing the missions. If that's true, then I want to go and do that right now. Maybe before we customize the cars. What do you guys think? Do we customize the cars first, or do we unlock the hunter first? Let's uh, go to the laptop. I'm guessing we have to be in a public session, though. Yeah, we have to be in a public session. Okay. Uh, we've got some CCTV there. Is that our living quarters in here? No, it's just like a storage area, I think. What do you guys think? Apparently behind the cube, and there is a mission... Oh, yeah, there's, so there is. So there is. Sorry, guys. I didn't see that. I'm blind. Let's go down to that uh, circle. How did I not even see that? Let's go, let's go, let's just check. So we can move these around. Maybe it'll give us the option to also bring some stuff in too. Floor and store. Oh, we can move the storage around. Okay, floor. So we can move the, some things around as well then. Okay, that's cool. And there's space for more aircrafts by the looks of things. All right, uh, I can see you guys want to customize the cars first before we go and unlock anything. That sounds like a good plan actually because we have to go to a public session to do that. Um, so we'll do that later on. I invite some of you guys in as well. Uh, before we do though, I want to go outside and see if we can call in uh, a buzzard or... Um, well, I think we'll go for the cargo box because we definitely know that can be customized. And we'll see if we can uh, bring that inside and customize it in there. We'll see if that is possible. So let me quickly call up Hello, my... Hello, Pegasus Lifestyle Mechanic. Management. How can I help you? 
Ah, uh, Cargo Bob. Let's go with your that one. Beautiful new aircraft is waiting at our oh, it's really close field. as well. We uh, hope you're very happy, sir. There's a tip from Chili Boy again, who installed Zombie Gunship Survival. Thank you for that tip. That is appreciated. And it's nice to see as well that these Pegasus vehicles are now spawning in inside the military base as well. Um, so let's bring that straight over to the hangar. Come on. Uh, I King said there's no cars. This is a lame update. There are new cars. There's two available from today with more on the way. Let's uh, take this though into the Fort San Kudo military base uh, hangar thing. Oh, we can! We can take the cargo bomb inside the hangar so we can store some of the Pegasus vehicles. Does that mean we can take things like the Titan inside as well? If we can, I want to do that. Right, let's modify. We can modify it as well. Oh, we can only respray it. We can only respray. Should we go for a chrome one? Let's go for a chrome cargo bob. Let's do it. Oh my god. We can actually customize Pegasus vehicles. That is so good to see. Okay. There might be a limit of how many we can store in here, though. That's the only thing. I want to go back outside and let's see if we can get something else. Maybe like, what, what do you guys think? Uh, I haven't got everything bought. Let me know right now, guys, if we can... Uh, if we can get something else in. Apparently we can drop bombs behind the Titan. If that's true, I want to call up Pegasus right now and get one spawned in. Which do I get inside there right now, guys? Let me know. With the Hydra, 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 Buzzard. Hello, you're through to Pegasus Lifestyle. Right, Rhino management. Tank, How that probably wants to go inside. Cargo Bob, Jet Max, Buzzard. Let's get the Buzzard. Thank you, sir. Your I've already got that one. Your aircraft is now ready for you at our nearest airfield. I might have to buy a Hydra if I haven't got one already, and I might have to also get a Titan. I'm not sure if I've got those or not. Um, let's try the Buzzard first of all. Uh, Hydra and Buzzard are the two you guys most uh, are mostly suggesting, and obviously the, the Titan as well, as well. I can see a few comments about. Um, so we'll definitely give some of those a try. We might have to buy a few. Hopefully we can take the Buzzard inside, though. So we saw on the uh, the newswire, on, on social media, sorry, yesterday, uh, a non-turreted version of this. So maybe we can remove the turrets. We'll see, though. Yes, we can take this one inside as well. Okay. So at last, we should be able to customize some of these Pegasus vehicles, which is so nice to see. It's only taken Rockstar almost four years, uh, and all we can do this one is actually respray it. The re uh, red one we saw on the news bio was really cool, so I want to go for a red one. There's no option, though, to remove the, uh, the turrets, so why is that? There was an option on, uh, oh, we saw a non-turreted version, so maybe that's like a new version, who knows. Alright, uh, let's go back outside and see if we can call in something else. Exit hangar. So you guys want to see the, the Hydra, so let me see if I've got that one. If I haven't, I'll buy one. Uh, or the Titan. Uh, the P996 laser, we haven't been able to buy that one just yet. Hello, this is Pegasus right. Lifestyle Management. How can I help? As you can see, they also stay in Pegasus as well. Hydra, I've got a Hydra. Great. Perfect. The aircraft is waiting for you at our nearest airfield. Let's we go to that one. We'll be happy, sir. Let's see if we can take the Hydra inside. If we can, that'll be so cool. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Run faster. And the Titan as well. I don't know if I have the Titan. I didn't check then, I should have. Uh, shout out by the way to No Game who just subscribed. Let's go in, let's go in. Apparently we can unlock the laser and the hydra uh, by doing the missions. Okay, that's good. We're going to do that in this live stream, don't worry guys. Uh, we will be customizing the... Uh, wait, I don't want to VTOL. Uh, how do we... There we go. Deactivate that and we'll just boost forward. Very slowly before we crush. Can we take the hydra inside? If we can. We can! I think we can take pretty much every aircraft inside here then. There is limited storage space. So we will have to be very careful. Uh, the active, the, the chat now is so active. It's so cool to see, and I love the the active chat so much. So hello to everybody tuned in, and apologies if I'm not. Uh, wait, the Pegasus aircraft has been converted to a personal vehicle. Yes. Where is it though? Where, where is the uh, where is the Hydra? I don't see it. Oh, there's not enough floor space. Okay, there's not enough floor space, uh, which means uh, it has been moved to storage elsewhere. What we can do is we can remove this one though. We'll remove the Cuban because I'm not really too bothered about the Cuban. And uh, then we can put the Hydra inside of here. So let's do that right now. Uh, hopefully it opens it up. Yep, there we go. Remove that. Remove aircraft. Are you sure? Yes. Vehicle sold. It, it got sold but I didn't make any money from it. Even though I just spent loads on the uh, on the bombing equipment. But I wanted to try it out anyway. Uh, right, so there should now be space for the Hydra. Let's do that right now then. Uh, storage. Oh, there we go. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, so let's place it in slots one. Okay. Yeah, so basically there's there's a storage area. Oh, okay, and a floor area. So we can we can probably own as many aircraft as we want, but only so many get stored. So this is our little uh, private viewing area. But we can actually customize this by the looks of things. 
Oh my god, what color do we go for on the Hydra if we can actually put a color on it? Comment right now, guys, which color do we go for? Please give me the option to customize it. What can we do? Respray, we can. We can respray it. What are we going to do, guys? What are we going to do? Go for crew? Oh, lime green. That could be sick. I'm feeling crew color. 25,000. Let's do it. Let's do that right now. And I'm guessing it'll be the same with uh, the Titan as well. Uh, exit hangar. Let's do that. Let's go outside. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm in love, guys. I'm in love so much with my lime green Hydra. Let's call up uh, Pegasus again and see if we can get the Titan spawned in. You guys are like, go for pink, go for pink. I forgot about that. I should have gone for pink. Hello, Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How uh, can I help please you? say we have a Titan. Please say we have a Titan. We don't. Call again. I don't Goodbye. have a Titan, guys, so we can't go and customize that one. Apparently, though, we can drop bombs with the Titan. So I want to see if that's true. So let's go and buy one right now. Just so we can test this out. It'll be worth it if we can. I'm guessing we could store all of these and change the colors of them. Every single aircraft and helicopter in game. That is so awesome to, to see. At last. It's a shame we can't all own more than one hangar though. If we could own more than one. In fact, before I, I say we can't, let's just check in case we can own more than one. Let's buy... Wait, buy from... Wait, maybe we can. Oh, no, we can't. We'd have to trade in this property. That's such a shame. Imagine if we could have more than one hangar. So we could, like, store every single aircraft. That'd be so cool. Oh, well. There we go. We tried. It just, it just didn't work at all. Pegasus, let's call them up. Let's see if we can uh, call in the Titan right now. Hello, you're through to Pegasus Lifestyle Titan, Management. Titan, Titan, Titan. Where is it? Oh, it hasn't been delivered yet, I don't think. We have, to, we have to give it a few seconds before we can uh, call it in. Right, I'm going to go back inside the hangar and just change this to pink because uh, that's definitely going to be a better color for the Hydra. Let's do it. And then we'll uh, get the Titan and then we'll bring that inside. There we go. Go back inside. It was like, go for pink, go for pink. So I pick up your landing gear. I wasn't going to fly very far, that's why it was still out. And we will be able to... Uh, apparently the, the Titan is on there, I just went straight past it. That wouldn't surprise me, I am blind. Uh, we'll just change the color on this one first though. All right, let's go for pink. Go for a matte pink. Hot pink or salmon pink? Let's go for hot pink. Let's do it. There we go. And exit the aircraft. Okay. All right, let's go outside then. And we want to call up Pegasus. And we're going to get the Titan. We're going to have to create loads of space in here for the Titan. We'll have to move some of the aircraft into storage by the looks of things. Um, we can always move them around later on and play with it. Um, but let's go outside first. This is so cool, guys. It is so nice to see that we can actually customize some of the existing Pegasus vehicles in game. I know you guys right now are like begging for like every single one, like the Savage and uh, the Gold Plane. If we could change the Gold Plane color, that would be so pointless. Like imagine now that the Luxor just make that gold. I'll save you $10 million. Um, let's call Pegasus. Uh, these are all things I'd like to try, but I want to get straight into customizing the cars Hello, first. Titan, there it is. How I did go I straight help? past it. I do apologize, guys. Your beautiful new aircraft is waiting at our nearest, nearest airfield. airfield. We hope you're oh, it's down there. Okay. Happy, sir. There it is. On the other end. Let's run. Come on. Let's go and get it. You guys are all like, go for the Savage. Go for the Savage. If we can upgrade things on it, if anyone knows we can upgrade things on it, like, you know, add bombs, different turrets and stuff like that, I'll definitely do that. If it's just a respray, though, uh, I don't want to waste the time, if I'm honest, guys. I haven't even bought it, I don't think. Um, so I don't really want to go and waste the money on that one, if I'm honest. It's not really that good. And if we can unlock the, the, uh, the Hunter instead, that's what I want to unlock. I want to unlock that as soon as possible. Um, so right, here we go. Let's start this up. Brum, brum, let's go. Right, let's take it over to the hangar. Right, so let's go to the left. But supposedly, supposedly on this one we can... Oh my gosh, I just took out the, uh, the, the lamppost. Don't give me a water level. Supposedly we can add bombing features to this. If that's true, that's going to be so cool. Oh, I've got a feeling it won't be like that, though. It might be, uh, that might be false. Again, if you guys have any suggestions for colors we go for on the Titan, let me know this thing. Oh my god. First time ever we can store Pegasus vehicles. I'm so happy. So, so happy. I might not sound very excited, but that's because it's my normal voice. All right then, guys. Let's go to the mission marker or the, the blue marker at the back so we can put the Titan inside. We'll have to put away the Hydra, I think, so we can get the, uh, the, the, the aircraft in here. It'll probably take up three spaces. Let's see what we can do, though. Right, storage. The Titan, and we'll have to put it there. It takes up loads of space. Okay. And let's go over to it. Let's see what we can do in terms of customizations. I bet it's just respray. I bet there won't be the option to drop bombs from this thing. If there is, that'll be awesome. 
So let's go for either gold or chrome. We could try gold. In fairness. Oh, I need respray. I was, I was lied to. Metallic. Yeah, we can go for like a gold. Uh, yeah, metal. There we go. Oh, it, it only like adds a livery to it. Oh, sorry. It like overlays the livery. We can go for pure gold. There we go. We have a gold. Yeah, we have a gold uh, titan. There we go then, guys. Alright, so yeah, we can finally customize and store these uh, these Pegasus vehicles, which is so nice to see. I know I keep saying that, but I just I still can't get over it. I'm, I might be dreaming still. Am I still sleeping? Someone, like, wake me up. Come and knock me out right now and wake me up. Alright then, guys. So yeah, we've gone through all the new aircrafts then, and obviously we've discovered the fact that we can also customize existing vehicles in GTA 5. Now I want to go customize the only two cars in this update, those being the Visioni and the uh, Retinue. Those, those are the only ones available right now, at least, to buy. There might be more to unlock, or will be available through special events over the next few weeks. The um, but we'll see what, what we can want, do right now. Else? Let me just call up my mechanic and get the Visioni in here right now. And once that's spawned in, we're going to customize this one first of all. As soon as it spawns in, it should be right in front of me if I face this way. Please. Oh, it's down there. Miles away. Where is it? Oh my god, it is so far away. Is there anything, anything I can get? Oh, if I, go and, if I go and take a plane, I think it counts as a special vehicle, or an actual vehicle. Um, someone said, show us the Batmobile. I don't think that's available right now. It might be a vehicle we can unlock. Uh... Regan asks, can you store the Valkyrie? I believe we can store anything, any of the aircrafts or helicopters in game, uh, from what we can see. We've tried quite a few. The Hydra, we tried the Buzzard Attack helicopter, and we also tried the Titan. They all were storable, so I'm guessing that they're all vehicles you can store. We'll steal this Buzzard. Hopefully, we can get a wanted level for doing this, but just so we can fly to our car. I did. I got a wanted level. Oh no. Oh no. Fly, 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 fly. We gotta go. So that's one thing. We we don't get a four star, though. We only get a two star for stealing it. There are so many uh, military personnel right now. We're gonna be quick. We're probably gonna die. We're probably gonna die. Please, 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 please. Take them out, take them out. Quick, weapon. No! Oh no. It means we've, we've probably had it impounded. Please don't be impounded. No, it's been impounded! <laughs> no. <laughs> Why did it have to spawn so far away from me? Oh, that's annoying. Okay, what we'll do is we'll register as an MC. We'll just spawn in like a regular bike uh, because I'm too far away from my hangar right now. And uh, we'll do that. Uh, J13P official, who said, Show me out, tipped uh, $1 for installing Angry Birds on uh, Gorkbox. Thank you for that tip, buddy. That is appreciated. I can't believe I just did that. I'll get into the. Actually, yeah, what we'll do is we'll get into the. Um, onto the oppressor. We'll go back to our. Uh, back to the, the, the bunker or the hangar and we'll just fly down into the city. And then we'll spawn it back in. Or go to the uh, the impound lot. I can't. Oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm like stuck right now. I can't find the way out. I'm stuck in between all this stuff. Someone asked, can you trade in a bunker? I don't think you can trade in bunkers for the hangar, unfortunately. This is rocks that we're talking about. Hashtag money. Right, let's uh, quickly speed down here. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure these are classified as. Uh, personal vehicles, so even if we park this outside now and we go get a plane, uh, that bike will be despawned when we leave, but we'll see. Uh, Dylan said the update's not out in the UK. The update is out in all countries on all platforms right now, obviously excluding all gen. Um, so that's not true, just turn your console off and turn it back on. It's been out now for uh, two hours, in fact. Uh, which one do we fly, guys? Which one do we fly? I've got a couple like in storage. Maybe we'll fly the uh, this one right here. This is my like favorite so far, I think, the Tula, because it has the most number of abilities. All right, let's go back outside. Okay, let's go down to. All right, All right let's activate the JTO thrust. There we go. Oh, look at that! Oh my god, the handling of this thing is so good. And we activate the boost. Unfortunately, that's the only boost we get. We have to charge a land to for it to charge again. Uh, unless, of course, we just like touch the ground, a bit like with the oppressor and stuff, and it might recharge. Let's try that. Let's try that theory. No, we have to physically land by the looks of things. No, it doesn't mean we can't cheat. That's a shame. That is a shame. Uh, yeah, my vehicles we put back into. Uh, oh, it's been damaged. We have to call Moors right now. We'll call Moors, insure it, and uh, yeah, we'll be able to then uh, customize the two cars that we have in this update. Hello. This is Morse $20,000, oh my god. Alright, what I'll do is I'll probably uh, jump out of this so we can call in the next uh, vehicle. Uh, we'll fly down towards uh, the Los Santos Customs though. 
And I think... Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll get out of here. We'll get out by here. And we'll parachute away from it so we're not too close to our personal vehicle. Here we go! Let's go for it. Diving down. It's uh, well above me right now. Let's not leave it too late, just in case. So, Nars, can we store the CEO buzzard? Probably not, because the, uh, the hangar is completely separate to the CEO organization, as far as I'm aware of. There we go. Right, so now let's call up. Hopefully, uh, my mechanic is free. And will be able to deliver it to me. My vehicle has just been destroyed. Huh? Your rides? Office garage. No, I'm going to wait 26 seconds. Okay. okay. I got stuff to do. Whilst that's happening, I'll call Moors. We'll steal this plane here and just ensure that that Tula. So once we've made, make a gold Luxor. We should be able to do that now. I imagine Rockstar will probably disable that feature though on the Luxor, surely. I would make... I would just ruin the whole like concept of having it in the game. Alright, let's take a... In fact, we must just drive to our office garage and just customize the Visioni in our office garage uh, because it's it's still got a few seconds to go before we can deliver another one. Uh, we'll just drive down there right now. So from what you guys have seen so far, what is your favorite plane? We've customized all of them now. Uh, which one are you guys liking the most? Uh, let me know. Like I said, the Tuna is probably my favorite so far at least because it has the most number of features. Uh, we can obviously use the VTOL feature to take off and land on the spot. The Jato thrust, which allows us to boost forward. Uh, we've got the ability to land on water, we can drop bombs, it's got loads of turret options, just so many things. Um, but let me know guys which one you like the most. Alright, let's go into our office garage and take a look at the Visioni. The new supercar, the only one available from today at least that I've seen. Alright, office garage one. Uh, can you customize the Rhino tank? Uh, no, I don't think so. Only the, uh, the aircraft Pegasus vehicles from what I've seen. Uh, so here is the Visioni, let's go straight into the... Uh, the custom shop above us because I've uh, already driven around in it to test that out. The Grotti Visioni. It's a supercar. Alright. Let's see what we can do then. Uh, okay, armor, let's upgrade that. Brakes, let's upgrade that. Front bumper, okay, we've got a few options. It is a really cool looking car to be fair. We can put the primary accent, secondary accent. We can go for secondary front splitter, carbon fins, or the carbon front. Right, I'm gonna go for the primary accent. I've got a feeling that's gonna be pretty cool looking. Um, but we can always uh, go back and change that, I guess. Uh, rear bumper, we can put... Uh, oh my god, look at that. It removes the license plate, which I fancy doing, and puts the primary accents on there as well, which we might do. Or a secondary, a different secondary could be pretty cool. Uh, added fins, we got the added primary fins. Yeah, let's go for that one. Or we might change it to secondary. We'll see, though. We'll come back shortly, I'm sure. Right, uh, upgrade the engine to level 4. Exhaust. The exhaust is uh, already pretty cool. We can go for our bigger bore, the wide exhaust, the triple exhaust, or the Gold tips this time. The gold tips. Uh, I should think I prefer the stock one though. We got a tip through the super chat from Adam Khan. Thank you, buddy. Everyone right now, hashtag Adam in the chat to show our appreciation for his donation. Thank you, man. Um, what are you guys thinking now? This one maybe? The the wide exhaust or the stock one? Kind of like the stock one. Might try the the wide exhaust one though. Um, hood. We can add some pins. We can go for a secondary or we can go for a carbon. I'm gonna leave it stock. Uh, I prefer the stock one. Horn. We'll leave that. Oh, we'll go for truck. Oh, we go for the clown one. Let's go for the clown one. I always go for the clown one. Wait, I can hear the TV right now. It's super annoying. Uh, headlights, let's put the uh, Xenon lights on. I'm not going to put a neon kit on this one. We can put a livery on. We can go for the Italia, the classic green stripe. We'll probably come back to this in a few moments. The black fin. Uh, we've got this red one here, the classic red stripe, the sports grey, the Mind Mac Racing, which is uh, kind of nice. Uh, this number 13 one, and then our Team Fly US. Uh, again, we'll come back to this in a few moments. Oops, I just selected it by accident. Go back to none. We want to change the uh, the color first of all, I think. It's kind of hard to go for uh, choose one based upon the, the white at least. Uh, the red one's kind of nice. What do you guys think? What do you guys think right now? Because I obviously want to make sure the red is a nice color for that uh, primary accent color we have on the front and rear bumper. If you guys have a favorite, though, let me know. I'm feeling we might go for like a red on this one. Um, the red or yellow. Let's, let's go to red first and see what it looks like. Red, 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 red. Where is it? Red. I want to go for like a regular red or a formula red. Uh, Torino red's a little bit brighter, so we go for Torino red. It comes with the atomic tires as well from Standard. And I like those wheels, but I want to change the color on those. We'll have to do the eye fruit glitch by the looks of things. Uh, most of you guys are saying go for the uh, either Italia livery or the Fly US one. Uh, secondary color. Hopefully we can change that to a different color. It's on black right now. Which does it actually change? I don't know if it changes the... Uh, 
Oh, it only changes that with those things. The uh, the mirrors. That's not really worth changing then. That rear end is black. I don't like that. Can we change the tertiary color? No, we can't. It's stacked on black. I don't really like that that much. Oh well, we'll leave it as it is. Uh, let's go back to livery and just check this out. So we got the Italia one, which you guys seem to like, which is kind of cool. Oh, the green one's quite cool as well. Uh, the red racing one, and we have the sports grey, the mind mapped. This one, number thirteen. Basically the same thing. Add some white stripes and the number 13. Yeah, I'm going to go for that one. The uh, unlucky for some. Let's go for that one. Uh, then we have respray. We've already done spoiler. We can add a spoiler. Um, so we can put a sports, the full carbon, uh, the carbon GT, the livery spoiler. Or we can go for the rear mounted. Let's go for the livery spoiler. That looks so cool, the back end. Uh, suspension, let's lower it down. Transmission, upgrade that. Turbo, fit that. And wheels, I want to do the... Uh, yeah, let's do the iFruit glitch. So we'll just select any random set. There we go. Then we'll just uh, choose... Let's go for black, I think. Black, there we go. And then tires... Uh, we, we won't change that. We'll make it bulletproof, though. And tire smoke, we'll put that to red. Okay. Windows, limo. Oh my god, even the front one's black. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, so those people wondering now why we got the flare tires on, or flare wheels, it's because we are going to do the iFree glitch. If I now back out to the ground, and I load up the iFree glitch, we should be able to put the stock wheels back on, but this time they'll be red, as opposed to this, uh, uh, the stock color they come in. So let's quickly back out, go to the iFruit app on my phone. Look at that though, it is such a good car now that we've, uh, or even better looking car I should say, now that it's customized. It looks so good from stock anyway but looks even better now with all those upgrades. What do you guys think so far then? Are you guys happy with the, uh, the appearance of this one? It looks very good, I think. Uh, again, it will probably be one of my uh, most favorite cars in the update. Um, though, it annoys me that the front windshield is uh, tinted as well. I don't think that's supposed to be. I'm pretty sure that's a bug uh, that rocks I will have to fix. Um, so that is one thing wrong with this update. Uh, let's give it a few seconds guys and then I can go back in and apply that customization Just trying to skip through the all the loading screens on the app and then we'll be able to put the uh, wheels back on uh, Hopefully this is the one right now the Jibaki Wagner. That's not the one that I want Why why is it not working? I'm not driving the Wagner right now. I'm driving this Let me quickly just close the app down and reload it back up and hopefully that'll fix it and we'll now be driving around uh, in this Please work. I want to change the wheels back to stock so they're black Okay, Los Santos Customs. It's kind of hard to like show this on the screen. I wish I could show what you guys, uh, you guys, what I'm doing right now on my phone. But basically, we're trying to uh, change the wheels the right color. Right, loading, loading, loading. So, else, is it all-wheel drive? I don't know. It's only the back one's really turning right now. I think it's rear-wheel drive. Okay, it's still on the Wagner for some reason. Wait, resets. Is there any way of selecting a different vehicle? Or not? Alright, I might be able to do it right now. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. I've done it. I figured it out. Figured it out. Right, stock wheels. And then order. Accept. Yes, there we go. I've done it. I've done it, guys. So let's go back to the, uh, the Los Santos Customs now. We should get a text message in a few moments. Saying, yep, there we go. We've just got it. There it is. Drop by the Los Santos Customs to apply the order. So we're going to go and put on the stock wheels again. And it'll then make them black. Obviously, you can't do in game. There's no option to change the color of stock wheels. This should hopefully work right now. Did you want me to perform? Here we go. Please work. Please work. Process app order. Yes, there we go. And we have black wheels on it at last. That's sweet. Look at that. That is cool. All right, it should back us out now from the custom shop. And that is the Grotti Visioni, the only new supercar available today, as far as I'm aware of, in the update. That is so good looking. Cactus Man just tipped $1 by installing Angry Birds 2 via Gorkbox. Thank you for that tip. That is appreciated. Oh my god, it looks so good. Let's drive around for a bit, and then we'll make our way back to the garage and go and customize the second and only other car in the update. That being the Retinue. Hopefully I'm saying that right. That's the Ford Escort Mark 1 lookalike. Okay, it feels pretty quick. Not quite as quick as some of the other cars in game, but it looks awesome if I may say so myself. What do you guys think of the appearance of this one? Are you guys satisfied? I think it looks it looks so good. Oh. I'm in love. I'm in love with the Visioni. I'm in love. Okay, let's drive straight back in. Move strong. You guys, I can see the chat run out and loving it. Uh, everyone's like, unlock the hunter, unlock the hunter. Uh, we will do that very, very shortly. 
Uh, we got Robin in the chat. What is that car? This is the new Grotti Visioni that you can buy on the Warstock Cash. No, sorry, on the Legendary Motorsports website for two million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And uh, yeah, it's it's cool. Uh, we'll go through all the secret features and you know testing later on. Let's just get straight into the customization of this next car. Uh, we haven't actually driven around in this one yet, so let's just drive to the Los Santos Customs to see what this thing is like stuck, and then we'll apply some customizations. Uh, so it's very similar in terms of its like shape and design to the Warrener, but it's like four or five times more expensive. Hopefully it's going to be better though and have loads of customizations for it, but we'll see. It does feel reasonably fast for a little small uh, classic car. It wants to slide about a lot as well. We got loads of flames from the exhaust. Handbrake turn around here now. There we go. Almost good. Almost good. Let's go straight back in. There we go. Alright then, is it going to be highly customizable or not? Comment right now guys, you got a few seconds. Is it going to be highly customizable or not? I've got a feeling it won't be. No, it is! You can see loads of customizations. Alright, okay, armor, let's apply that straight away. Uh, brakes, let's then go and upgrade to the race ones. Uh, bumpers, okay, we've got a few options here. Right, okay then. So we can do the, uh, the front... Bumper, rally lights, okay, right, that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, we got the, okay, so we, we have rally lights. That means this, this could be a rally car then, or have rally upgrades. Uh, front bumper to leap, which looks much better. And we can go for the body mounted rally lights, those are cool. Or we can go for the safari, ball bars, and lights. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. But I'm going to go for a rally style look right now. So we're going to go for the body mounted rally lights. Rear bumper, we can remove that. Let's do that, it looks so much better with that one. In my opinion. It's kind of a shame it leaves the holes, but uh, there we go. Uh, chassis, we can add a roll cage. It also adds uh, like a little boot stopper there and a tow hook on the back. I don't think there's anything else on the front. Oh yeah, a little tow hook there as well. Let's go for the full chassis upgrade. Engine upgrade, let's fit uh, the uh, level 4 exhaust. We can go for the, the dual exit, the race bore, the big bore, or the, <laughs> the shocker turn exhaust. No, let's go for the, let's go for the race exhaust on that one. Explosives, we want to fit that. Arch extensions, we want those. Uh, grill, we can then go for the extended double chin spoiler. Uh, the vig uh, right, drilled vigilance, which adds stuff to the uh, holes there. I don't really like that one. Or we can go for that one with the uh, splitter as well. Let's go for the extended uh, chin spoiler. Uh, right, hoods. I'm going to change the car in a few moments. We can add hood, hood pins or go for carbon. I'm going to leave it stock for now. Uh, horn, we'll go for the clown one as well. Let's do that. Lights, let's put the Xenons on. It's a shame we couldn't put the, you know, lights here as well instead of just the covered up ones, but there we go. Uh, livery, we can fit a livery to this as well. We can go for the uh, wide body stripe. We can go for the, the double body stripe. Uh, we've got the beer one, the redwood. Uh, so this is going to be a rally car for those things with all these uh, liveries, some pretty cool ones. Uh, we've got the Stronzo, and I think that's the last one. Again, guys, if you have a preferred favorite, let me know right now. What I might do is go and change the color first of all, and then we'll come back and do that. Uh, we'll put that one on the San Andreas exempt plates. Respray in a few moments. Sunstrip, we'll put one of those on for sure. Uh, skirts, we'll put the... Oh, there we go. It adds the um, the mud flaps. It adds the black rubber mud flaps. Spoiler, we can add a ducktail, a bigger ducktail, an extended duck a ducktail. Uh, a ducktail deck lid or the mid-level spoiler. Ooh. I think I prefer a ducktail. We're going to go for the high level on that one. Uh, suspension. We'll leave it as high as possible. It's going to be a rally car, I think. Uh, race transmission. Turbo. Let's go for that. Wheels. Uh, ooh, what do we go for wheels? Maybe a set of rally master ones. They were the tuner wheels. Yeah, rally master. Let's go for a set of those. And we'll set the uh, wheel color to black. Tires. Make sure they're bulletproof. We might go for a set of uh, custom tires. Let's do that. Custom tires. We wouldn't usually go for that. Uh, respray, let's go back to that option as I said. And uh, what color are we going to go for on this one, guys? What's, what's going to be a good sort of rally looking color? Maybe like an ultra blue. Should we go for like an ultra blue? Really stand out? Let's do that. Ultra blue. We'll change the uh, hood color as well to ultra blue. The secondary color. Ultra blue, there we go. And then go back to livery. And hopefully, one of the ones available will match that. Uh, yeah, oh look at that, the wide body stripe, I like that one. Or we can go for the double body stripe, that's cool as well. Uh, Redwood, or oh, the numbered one, the Team Zero one, that's cool as well. The retro one's cool, or oh, that one. Oh, I think we're going to go for either this one, or this one. I, I like the wide body stripe, let's go for that one. That looks super cool. Alright then guys, 
And there we go. So that's the customization then on the retinue. Quite a few customization options for this one, giving it a really nice ratty look. Let's uh, go and drive around for a bit then with this uh, customized version. Uh, there was no window option, I don't think, to change the uh, window tints. I didn't see an option at least. Uh, but either way, I think it looks better without a window tint. It looks, it looks cool. It drives well. It sounds good too. Can you guys hear that? Hopefully you guys can hear the game volume. It sounds really nice. Right, let's drive back down towards our CEO um, warehouse. So out of the two cars then, guys, the Grotti Visioni and the uh, the Retinue, which is your favorite vehicle? There's only two of them available right now, as far as I'm aware of. I think the Grotti is going to be my favorite, the Grotti Visioni, because it's so cool looking. Uh, but this car as well is pretty good for Macy's and myself. Someone said, is this the Fast and Furious update? I know, this car, of course, the, the Escort Mark 1 did feature in Fast and Furious. Um, so... Who knows? Rockstar are, of course, copying a lot of, like, movie titles. The Batmobile is supposed to be in this update. Uh, it might not be available day one, it might be a drip head like, vehicle, but still. Just, like, straight up taking them from different, uh, different games. Uh, different movie titles, sorry. Let's get into the Visioni. You guys, uh, I think most of us all saying, uh, commentate. Oh, sorry. Most, most of you guys say to drive this one. There we go. Sorry, I'm, I'm like, reading the chat and, like, mixing up my words. Alright, we're going to quickly swap across to a public session because we still have vehicles to unlock. Uh, I can't confirm this, but according to you guys, uh, if we go into a public session, we can unlock them by doing the associated missions. So I'm going to go into a public session and hopefully we can find that option. I'm guessing it's just in our... Uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's just in our bunker, but we'll go and see. Oh, in our hangar, sorry. So we're going to give that a try. Uh, got to quickly reply, reply to one of my friends on uh, Messenger. Uh, a car on. Right here. No, right, okay. Oh, and I spawned in my hangar as well. I didn't realize that was going to be the case. I was going to drive back over there, but never mind. Because uh, now we're at the location we want to be at. And we're in a public session. <laughs> Got clickbaited is in my chat. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, if you guys want to join right now, if you have me added, um, I can invite you in. In fact, I think there's a few guys who wanted to join. Uh, Diamonds, I'll send him a game invite. Uh, we'll send one to uh, Barovich as well. This guy is cool, so let's invite him in. And we're going to go for an invite to Zildozer as well if he's online. Shadow's online as well as an invite to you. Uh, Jammy Jamboy, top lads, we'll invite him in. And Zildozer, I promise to send him an invite as well. So give me a second, and hopefully I can find him. There he is, right at the bottom. Oh, it's disabled for some reason. And same for Gabriel as well. No, guys. No. I want to get you guys in. My personal vehicle has been returned to storage. I can request it uh, from the mobile operation center in the interactive menu. Wait, what? What? Mobile operation center. What's what? It, it was the uh, the Grotti Visioni that I was driving. How can we? How can we request that? That's weird. I'm really confused. All right, so we're gonna go back up to the laptop so we can go and uh, see if we can unlock this hunter. Uh, let me invite. Everyone into my uh, organization, find prospects. Let me invite uh, my friends, there we go. He just asked in the chat, is there any way to get the hunter? Apparently, there is a way of doing it. We're gonna go and try it right now. Join my organization. Hopefully, diamonds. Join my organization. Apparently, there's a way to buy it. Uh, I don't see any option on the website. Uh, we still have the clothes and ammunition stores to go to, don't worry. Um, right, let's try again. Find prospects. Uh, right. Diamonds, there he is. Diamonds. I've offered him the chance to join. And as soon as that goes, I have to invite some more players because the people aren't joining. So I will drop some more invites to people right now. Here's one for Prex. Uh, someone to Air as well. One for Bagos, he usually joins. Uh, Big Daddy Dave. Here's an invite for Big Daddy Dave. Uh, Sivsek, here's an invite as well. Domzilla's a good lad. Let's invite Dom. Uh, Danny Mods usually joins. And Dirtman as well. I've got loads of you guys online right now. Which is good to see. And there's an invite too. Alright, hopefully we've got some more people here. So we can go and unlock some of these uh, vehicles. Alright, hopefully I can just invite... Uh, yeah, I can invite some people in. Where is... Uh... Oh, Diamond's already in here by the looks of things. Do I look awesome with this helmet? Oh, you must have some of the new clothing items. I have not seen these yet, which we haven't gone to take a look at. Oh my god, that's cool. Yes, that is awesome. I'll drop a like for that one, buddy. Drop a like. Which, of course, you guys can do as well if you haven't done so uh, on this uh, on this live stream. 
All right, let's go and take a look then at the laptop and see if we can go and get our business on th off the ground. See what we can do. All right, sit down. Please, hopefully we can go and unlock some of these things now. It is inside here, right? That we can we can unlock things. We can unlock the hunter and things. All right. Uh, must be granted uh, by Ronald Dotjowski, please. Uh, we have to set up. Okay, we have to set up the business for those things. Where, where do we go? Here we go. The maiden voyage of this new enter. All right, take the mogul and deliver to the hangar. Where is the? Uh, where is it? Where where is my? Uh, where is my plane? The mogul. Wait, is it over there? No? Oh, I have some new icons on the map. Where is it? Take the mogul. Is it inside my hangar? Is that the one that's referring to? What what moguls are referring to? Is it one that I've got to take? I have no idea. Alright, we'll just try the one that I've got in my, uh, in my hangar right now. Donation from British Reaper through the super chat who said... Can you invite me? Uh, certainly, buddy. Uh, is your gamertag just British Reaper? Uh, wait, Mogul. Which, which is the Mogul? Oh, I've already forgotten. Do I have the Mogul? Take the Mogul. Like, what, what Mogul do I take? Does anyone know? The blue icon on the beach. I didn't see that. Uh, I know some of you guys want invites right now, but we've just started up this, so I can't do that. Uh, just backing out. Uh, let me know, British Reaper, if your gamertag is or isn't. Uh... So anyway, on the beach. Which which beach? Which beach? I don't see the mogul anywhere. There's no like marker. Oh wait, there! Is that it? The mogul! There it is! There it is! Okay, right, let's um let's take one of my aircrafts then. Let me go and get one. I'll take the like, a two-seater or something. Sorry guys, I was being uh completely blind uh, blind. Alright, going back inside. We'll get something fairly quick. That I can get uh, two people into. Uh, cargo bob, that's pretty good. We got the. Oh, most things are like in storage right now. Oh, we'll have to take the uh, the Tula. Take the Tula. Let's do that. Let's get in there. Come on. Hop in, hop in. Let's go. Go outside. Hopefully, he's just waiting outside for me as well. Right, so where is he? Is he going to come over? Diamonds. Come to me, diamonds. A donation from British Reaper to the Super Chat who said... My gamer tag is plus zero Mars chaotic. Oh, okay, it's Pluto, Pluto Mars. Okay, I'll drop you an invite right now, Pluto. Apologies. Um, if you commented in the chat... I'm going to delete, by the way, just to tell me that something. You can just uh, tell me in the chat. Uh, but appreciate it, nevertheless. And here is an invite to the lobby. Oh my gosh, there's explosions. We've got to be quick. We've got to be quick. Hey, you can't get in. I thought you were my organization, buddy. No! No! Quick! Wait, okay, it's, it's, it's being pretty pretty chaotic right now. Only two of the... Two of the engines are working. We should have gone into a solo public session. Oh my god. No! Oh my god. It looks like it's going to be absolutely chaotic. If you'll pardon the pun. Okay, we'll try this one. We'll just fly down the P996 laser. Okay, after this, what we probably will do is... Uh, yeah, what we'll probably do is go into a solo public session. It's going to be too crazy to, uh, to try and do this. Okay, Jammy Jamboy just unlocked the hunter. Uh, I want to know how that's done. How? A ask me how. Ask me. Tell me. Tell me how it's how it's done. I want to know. Someone said use flares. I completely forgot. To be honest, it's a new feature. Um, I'm learning. All right, diamonds. All right, go to the waypoint. Okay. We're going to go and get this package right now to set up our business. Alright, Jammy Jamboy. Ever since I got on, I've just done the missions and Ron called me. Oh, and then unlocked the hunter. Okay. So it looks like we can unlock the hunter, guys. It's not a, a drip-fed bit of content, which is good to see. Alright then, guys. We're going to be down there now in a few moments. So I said, use your flares. Uh, obviously, this P996 laser hasn't got any flares. So we can't just stole one from the military base. Uh, but let's quickly fly down there right now. Let's activate the, uh, the wheels. So as soon as we get there, we can just land and uh, take it. The Mogul. Which, which plane is the Mogul again? I've already forgotten what, what it was. Is it the big plane? No, it's not. The, the big plane is the Bombushka. I have no idea, honestly. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, we'll just jump out. There we go. 
Oh, there it is. Is that one? Wait, I've not seen that one yet. Is that not unlocked? Yeah, we've, we've not actually bought this vehicle yet. It's obviously one where you've got to unlock. Okay, right. Uh, let's now take out the uh, last MC. Let's get a better weapon than that one. That one there. The compact PDW. I'm guessing that's the objective. We have to kill these people. I could be wrong, though. If I am, I do apologize. And look at that, the last slam van's here again. All right, let's get in. Now, hopefully, we're not going to have any issues with the players up in Fort San Cudo. There's loads of players up there. Oh my god, loads and loads of players. I knew I should have gone for a hangar down uh, in the uh, the airport. I knew I should have gone for one over there. Oh, never mind. Someone asked, is this player new? It is, but I've not actually got it in game. It's one we haven't unlocked yet, I don't think. All right. We're gonna we're gonna stay nice and low. Very very low. Apparently this plane is on the elitist travel website. I've not seen it. And if there is one, then I need to go and buy it. All right, let's put the the wheels up. I need someone in the uh, passenger seat with me, ideally. Uh, but diamonds is the plane that you are, are, have. I want. That's what diamonds said. All right. You must lose the wanted level before you return to your cargo. Oh, return to the cargo to the hangar, okay. We can just call Lester though, right? Hopefully we can. Oh no, I can see there's a jet coming to us. There's a jet behind us. Oh, it's diamonds, it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> I thought it was uh, an enemy. Oh my god, I was I'm really worried then. Okay, we've got some... Oh, police below us. No, they can see us again. I'll just try calling uh, Lester and see if we can disable the wanted level that way. Hopefully we can. Alright. Lester, 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 please. Just make this as easy as possible. I've got a feeling we're going to have a massive issue going into the military base right now with hey, so many players up? in the session. Oh, Alright, remove one to level. There oh, we go. Hey. There we go, that was You're much easier. Mm, okay. Done. I'll deal with it. Uh, someone asked, are the hangars all the same? They are, they're all the same. So you might as well just buy the cheapest one uh, down at the airport if you guys are short on cash. I went for the most expensive one because you guys wanted me to, but... I'm regretting that purchase. I might swap it out later on and go for one down at the airport because it's a much better location than here. So many players here right now, especially. It's just going to be one of those crazy fests. Alright, let's uh, put the wheels down. I'm going to be so quick. I've been approved. Okay. Fly quicker, fly quicker, fly quicker before someone comes behind me. I can see there are people. Come on. No, oh, come on. Come on. Yes. Oh my god, that was so close. That's a massive, like, shut a bit of glass in front of the door. There we go. Oof. <laughs> I was so worried. So I was like, go in passive mode. You can't do that when doing these missions, unfortunately. All right, okay, that's delivered. All right, I need to now invite uh, some people into my organization. So let me find some prospects. Invite my friends. And invite, uh, who else wants to come in? All right, friends, they've all been invited. So we've got a few people joining. Domzilla and Jeremy Jamboy have joined. I think that's uh, four people now. We have got some more space though because we're using uh, the MC organization uh, to do that. So there we go, Pluto's joined, that's British Reaper. There we go, let's sit down. I invited you, Gabriel, as well. He just asked for an invite. Let me quickly just back out and see if I can make sure he's got one. Uh, give me a second. Motorcycle club, fine prospects. You may have not got the invite if you're already a CEO. That isn't the bear in mind. I invite friends again, though. All right. I'll invite the people into my uh, hangar as well, just so that we can uh, get this on the road. Prax, Domzilla, Bagos, Big Dave. Oh, I should invite everyone. Why not? I don't know how many people are actually in the organization now. There we go. Sit down. All right then, let's see what we have to do next. We've already got the supplies for the looks of things, or the, the starting part of our business. Welcome, business partner. This Welcome, business Ron partner. Tukowski. Damn, damn. I shouldn't say my name. No <laughs> it's just wrong. Edit that bit out. <laughs> okay, I prepared this recording to talk you through the basics of our new operation. Right, okay, so we can source all the various things. Okay, so narcotics, chemicals, medical supplies, animal materials. Then, I'm just speaking over the guy. Apologies, guys. Uh, art, jewelry, now, tobacco, counterfeit goods, and sell. We can sell stuff here. as well. Now, the deep state right, like okay. This. The shadow economy, it's taking tax money away from their pals, the globalists. What I think we should do is go into a solo public se- Oh my god, scared me. We should probably go into a solo public session before we try and do any importing and exporting. Or, you know, cargo retrieval. I wonder because there are so many players in this session right now, and they're all in the military base. So give me a second, guys. I'm gonna quickly just, uh, tab out. 
open up task manager, you can't see this. I'm gonna quickly just uh, basically freeze the game and then unfreeze it. Hopefully that's gonna work after the latest patch to basically uh, we can put ourselves into a solo public lobby, which I know is cheating, but I wanna try and do this without any uh, any issues. Hopefully this does still work. So in five, four, three, two, one. Hopefully that's gonna work. It does. Yes, it does. Okay, it still works after the patch. We're in a solo public lobby, which is perfect. I'm now going to invite everybody back in who is just in the game. So if you guys could join quickly, that would be appreciated. And then we'll move on and do some cargo stuff. So there aren't so many players in the military base. As you guys saw, it was like a, a massive like fight going on. And I don't want to find that we're doing all this work and spending unnecessary time for it to be destroyed shortly afterwards. So... Uh, I do apologize if you guys disagree with using exploits like this one, but I I, I am basically. Uh, right, let's invite uh, everybody I can see. Invite Clifton as well, he usually joins. Uh, Dom Zitter as well. I think I'm appearing offline, so you guys can't join my session. I apologize for that, um, but there is a reason. Just basically to reduce the number of people that can get in. Although I'm inviting everyone right now, which is kind of pointless. Um, right, there's one for dry ice. Uh, if you guys do want an invite, uh, just comment in the chat right now, and I can invite you guys in. Jammy Jamboy was in. Invite to you. Uh, we've also got multi Nut usually joins. Uh, Merrick is one for you as well, if you're watching. Uh, Meat Pie usually joins. I'll invite you now with British Reaper. I can see you. There you are. Oh, wait. Game invite disabled. Why is that? Why is it all disabled for some people? I don't understand. I'm sorry if you guys want an invite, and I can't invite you. I don't understand why that is. Oh, wait, Prax just left. <laughs> I think he just lagged out. Let me invite him back in. There we go. If you guys could join as quickly as possible, that would be appreciated. What I'll probably do, though, is uh, just get straight... Wait, there are no free players in this session. Okay, I can't invite Bago since my organization. All right, we'll just get straight onto things because I don't want to wait too long, uh, if I'm honest. Um, so let's... Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, access this, this computer and get some stuff sourced. Uh, what do we start off with then, guys? Should we go for narcotics, chemicals, medical supplies, animal materials, kind of fit goods, tobacco and alcohol, jewelry and gemstones, and art and antiques? Basically, it's just uh, the CEO stuff, but uh, in uh, in the hangar. Seems very similar. Uh, which one do you guys think we should go for? Let's go for the chemical one, I think. Bago said the Alpha Z1 is the worst plane ever. It's cool, man. I love it. Right, take the chemicals and deliver them to the hangar. Where are they at? The Epsilon Center. Oh, not too far away. Okay. Right, he's just gone inside. Let me go and get myself. Why does it take us out of the hangar without an aircraft? You gotta fly or go back inside to go and get one. Apparently, uh, you only take one crate at a time. Is that really the case? Hopefully, they're worth some money, though. It's gonna take quite some time to do that, though. Unless you guys like to do jewelry. <laughs> I've already chosen it now. It's too late. Let's go with the helicopter. We've not uh, flown that one just yet. Uh, they're all asking for invites now. God damn it! As soon as uh, as soon as we start this up, everyone wants an invite. We'll we'll invite some more players into the organization shortly. So you guys can help me out uh, in a few minutes. We'll just go and get this stuff first. And supposedly we can then unlock the hunter. Uh, we gotta wait for a phone call from Ron for that. It's stuck in a loading screen. This is not good. Please don't freeze the game. The number of times this happened over the past few days. Zildas has said that the hunter is drip fed. No, uh, Zildozer. Apparently, you can unlock it. Unless I'm just being trolled. Am I being trolled? If someone has the hunter, uh, show me it right now in game or send me a tweet on Twitter. Oh, Jammy Jam Boy, I was joking earlier on. Oh, really? Were you guys really trolling me? Oh, no way. Okay, maybe I was wrong then. I want to see uh, a, a tweet though. You know, people are claiming it in the chat, but uh, uh, is the hunter the attack helicopter? Yes, it is the Apache uh, attack helicopter. Right, we're gonna go to the Epsilon place. Everyone's asking for invites, but I can't do that right now. Alright, let's uh, go to the Epsilon place. Hopefully, these are fairly simple. I'd imagine it's just the other players in the session which will make it difficult, but it's all good. We're not almost. Oh my god. It was supposed to be a solo public session, but like everyone has joined. So maybe it won't be so easy. Uh, right, the Epsilon Center is here. Okay. On the roof, by the looks of things. There it is. We've got to take the buzzard. Uh, oh, they're all shooting at me right now. Why didn't I get a, a weaponized one? 
Why didn't I get a weaponized one? Okay, let's land. To get some armor on. Alright, okay, we'll land this by here. There we go. And let's get some armor on very, very quickly. Uh, armor. Where is it? Body armor. Super heavy. There we go. Let's get a weapon ready. Something good. All right, my compact D a PDW. Or a carbon rifle, whatever it is. I don't really care right now. It's just something good. There's a ladder on the side of the building somewhere. They're all on the roof. Hopefully there's no one on the, the ground floor. Because I'm not ready for them. I'll quickly have a snack as well. It might be worth doing. Oh, if we crouch. Probably if we crouch against the wall. Can I crouch against the wall? There we go. We can eat snacks. Without having to... Uh, there we go. Having to physically eat them. Yeah, there we go. Cool. I'll try to bear in mind. Hey, where's uh, someone shooting me? Where, where's he at? Hopefully, uh, killing pedestrians does nothing. No, it doesn't. Just kill them all just in case. We can't, we can't take that risk. Okay, there's people shooting at me right now. There's so many players in the session already. I've not invited all these people. Hopefully no one's going to mess around with us. Otherwise, I will just go into a solo public session and not invite anyone. If, uh, if people do try and, uh, take us out. Yeah, I'm getting sort of, like, low on health. Can you shut? There we go. I think that's it. From what I can see. There's right, so, a white marker on the map down there. There we go. Apparently it's attached to the buzzard. I don't see it, though. <laughs> it's, it's in here somewhere, though. Alright, let's take the buzzard back. Alright, okay, yeah. Uh, Jammy Jam Boy just made a really good point in um, the game chat. Uh, the content might last all the way to Christmas. And that's a good point. There's actually over 20 aircrafts uh, that were supposed to be in this update. Or 20 aircrafts and vehicles. And we've only got 9 so far. 9. So that could potentially mean it's going to last us 11 weeks. Making this the longest update ever. And Rockstar, of course, on the newswire when announcing this update did say that it was, uh, was going to be a big update. So who knows? Maybe that's the case. Right, we'll fly this buzzard back now. Oh, by the way, yeah, the buzzard. The buzzard doesn't actually have any uh, any weaponized uh, turrets on it. It's a non-weaponized version. So this, the one we saw on the on the newswire then, uh, is oh sorry, on, on social media, it's not necessarily a new vehicle we can buy, I don't think, but it's one that you can get in game. Oh, we have uh, two behind us just chasing us right now. Who knows though? We tried to customize the buzzard uh, earlier on, and we couldn't remove anything from it. We can only change the color of it. Uh, so unless, of course, there's a new version coming. And who knows? Alright. Uh, okay. When we get close, we'll hold the E button. Gotta be quick. There are two helicopters just behind me. Come on, come on, come on. Holding E, holding E. Done. There we go. Delivered. Someone said you can buy an unweaponized version. If you know how to do that, let me know in the chat. Because I want to know how to do that. We get all the vehicles. And with this, of course, there's no Pegasus fear. That's a good point. Okay, we've just picked up wait, art, chemicals, medical supplies, tobacco, and alcohol. Oh, okay, some of the things would have been from when we started our business. That's, uh, wait, the, the hangar value is, is that 40,000 already? 40,000, must be 10,000 per crate. Right, I'm going to invite some people now into my organization. Find prospects nearby, rivals, uh, invite players. And we'll invite my friends as well. I'm looking for MC. There we go. Hopefully everybody will join. Got loads of spaces. A couple of people join already. Dry Ice, Domzilla, Slygod. I'll invite everybody into my hangar as well. There we go. All 11 people in the session right now. The and yeah. Oh, wait, we just got a call. I didn't, uh, I didn't listen to it. Oops. Hopefully it's not anything, uh, anything too important. All right, let's sit down. Right, and let's get our next crate. We'll just get quite a few crates and then we'll sell them. So selling value is worth, yeah, 40,000. Oh, we have to sell it individually, right. You guys want to get, what was it? I think it was gemstones, jewelry and gemstones. Let's go and get that one next then. That was the one that I saw most of you guys earlier on commenting. Okay, it's taking us back outside again. How do you feel now? Right, uh, where is the, oh, we're gonna go on. Go and get this helicopter over here. Oh, the black, the black um, cargo bob. Okay, and uh, it's got a crane on it as well. They've changed some of the icons uh, for some of these vehicles. All right, so they've tried to get it as well. All right, so cargo. There's four to pick up, I think. This could be quite a lengthy mission. 
Come on, guys. Quickly, quick. Let's go. Oh, I don't think Clifton can get in because he's not in the organization. Where are they all going? Can you get in? Come on, guys. Let's go. Do hurry. And any, any, there we go. Any second, right. Wait for your teammates to get in the seats. We've got to wait for the other guy over there. God damn it. Get in the organization. Dry ice. Dry ice. Get in the organization. Get, no, get in the, what do I think? Get, get in this. There we go. Now we can leave. The organization has to be in the cargo while by the looks of things. Right, finally. Alright, go to Bolingbroke Penitentiary. Is that just the uh, the prison? I didn't really even name that, to be honest. Uh, at the moment, guys, we are at 2,821 likes. Let's see right now if we can smash 3,000 likes right now. Like, literally right now. I know there's 3,400 of you guys watching. So if you haven't dropped a like, do so. Comment hashtag likes. And let's see how many likes we can get for, uh, you know, right now. So, three, two, one. Click the like button. Let's go for a like spike and see how many we can get. Uh, so far, the biggest sort of number of likes increase I've ever seen is 500. If we could beat that, that'd be awesome. We can go and get 500 likes in like the space of a few seconds. Uh, we're almost up to 2,900. 3,000. There we go. We've just smashed 3,000. Got a jet chasing us or following us. Hopefully, it's just protection. Shout out to GG by the way for dropping a like. Mort as well. John O'Connor. Shout out to you for dropping a like. Anthony for dropping a like. Uh, shout out to Killer, shout out to Monkey as well, Human, shout out to you, uh, Big C in the chat, shout out to you as well, uh, we got Ling Heng in the chat, drop a like, thank you, shout out to, uh, to Ethan as well, shout out to you, and we've got Zach too, thank you guys for the support, we'll do a few more shout outs now shortly, this cargo mob is slow, uh, let's drop the, uh, the crane if we haven't already, is it dropped? No? Why, why is it not dropping? What are we going to press? It's, uh... It's E usually, right? On, on keyboard. Fly to the drop site near... Yeah, I can't drop the cargo while hook. It's not dropping. Why is that? Wait, the... We're flying past the prison. The live stream audio, by the way, the game volume keeps cutting out every now and again. I apologize, I apologize um, for this, if, if it does cut out. Because uh, it happened a few live streams ago and it was super annoying. Right, we're almost there. Taking a while. All right, drop site is at a high altitude. We got a parachute. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. We got a uh, parachute. To fly to the drop site. Is at a high. There it is. I can see it. That's why. Okay. So the cargo bob may have, uh, well, may usually be a, you know, have a hook on it, but this one doesn't. It's a new cargo bob. I'm guessing we can't get in game. It's just one you can use in this mission. Right, there we go. Wrap the marker. Very specific location. Right, we are now fixed in this location. Uh, parachute to the landing zone. Let's go! Everyone parachutes. Landing zone is over there, by the things. Oh, in the prison. Okay, that makes sense. I should have, like, dived down further. Oh, well. Just leave it as it is. If I release my parachute now, can I activate another one? I think I've got two of I. Uh, right, come on. Go faster, go faster. I can't see the landing zone just yet. Is it definitely in the prison? Let's open up the map. It is. It's right in the center of the prison. Hopefully we'll get a wanted level for going inside. Come on, come on. But is it in that, like, square area over there? Or is it just anywhere in here? Will, it, will we feel it if we don't, uh... If we don't hit it? Possibly. Okay, it's the square area there. Let's go very, very specifically. Just in case they, they can't see us. Somehow they can't see people parachuting into the prison. Right, there we go. Straight down now. Oh, no, we got a wanted level. We've got a wanted level. Okay, take the uh, the jewelry. Right, guys, get into one each. Into the riot vans. Then. Is it two or three? Oh, just two. Just two. I think. I can see three uh, boxes there. Wait, have I got one? Is this, is this truck a... Uh... Is truck one? No, he just died. Alright, Sly God's got the other one. Dry eyes. Hop in, buddy. Get in the back, there we go. Oh, no, get in the, get in the front. Quick, before you die. Alright, we're gonna have to very quickly push through all these. 
Come on. We stro over the top of them, that's all good. Go, 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 go. I think we've got the two... I think there's only two, yeah, two of these we have to pick up. We're like three or four. There we go. Alright, we've got five miles to go back to the military base, but we'll probably go a different way. It might be faster to go this way. Right. Might be worth calling Lester as well. If we can call Lester, that'll save uh, this, this so much time. Uh, let's call Lester. We can do that. It might not be a feature we can use. Hopefully, though, we can. I'll Hello? pay the price. What can I do right. for you? There we go. No problem. I'll get him off oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't lose the wanted level. It glitches out a lot. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we've lost it. That was really glitchy. Do you see that? That was super glitchy. Oh yeah, we just called Lester. That was so much easier. All right, let's take a left here. AOC Infant asks, "Where is Real? Real at the moment, I think, is in school. So he still goes to school. Um, he will be live streaming later on. I'm pretty sure. I think my live stream chat is just frozen. Uh, we got Better Panda asks, "Where's the hunter? Apparently, it's drip-fed content. People were trolling earlier, saying that you could unlock it, but you can't. Um, you have to wait until it's released over the next few weeks in special events." Uh, shout out the way to Asylum who dropped a like on the stream. Thank you, buddy. It was so weird how when I called Lester it was like glitching out, but eventually it went. I don't know if you're supposed to. I don't know. We got uh, 30 minutes. We're pretty close. Only three miles to go. It's pretty slow on the right event. Uh, Seth v said he sent me a video of the Hunter on Twitter. Apparently, you can get the Hunter. There might be a way of actually using it in the missions, but there won't be a way of actually getting it, if that makes sense, of, uh, of physically buying it at the moment. It'd be a bit like the Insurgent Custom and the Technical Custom, if that's correct, where we can use it in the missions, but we can't actually buy it and own one just yet. We'll have to wait until Rockstar releases it. That's only a theory, though. If people are seeing it in the game, uh, I've not seen anyone yet actually own it. Um, I'll check Twitter now in a few moments, though. Uh, speaking of Twitter, though, whilst we're driving back, uh, I am doing a shark card giveaway every day this week. So if you guys would like to uh, have the chance to win three and a half million dollars every single day this week, um, you can of course take part. There's a uh, oh my god, slow down. There's a link in the description to that giveaway, and uh, you guys can enter. The first one will be later today. Uh, it'll probably be around about sort of like 8 p.m. Uh, in the UK, so that'll be in seven hours from now. So you guys still have a few hours to enter. Hopefully we can go into the military base this way. Gates look open, so we should be all good. Yeah, they are. Speed. <laughs> Let them through. We'll just like smash straight through the barrier. Alright, there we go. Oh, we'll just smash through here as well. Save us some time. Turning's too sharp. Uh, Lukey said he needs to go and have fun. Uh, thanks for the streaming. No problem, man. Thank you for tuning in. That's greatly appreciated. Somebody asked, is this simply just player? No, Battleground effectively is. <laughs> it is very close to that. Alright. We delivered that. Oh, I can see Welsh Dragon Rule right now commenting the uh, the giveaway in the chat. If my mods could copy and paste the giveaway link uh, in the description into the chat, just so people can enter that if they have done so already, that'd be great. Just like put a couple links in there for everybody. Uh, Diamond said the skylift is so slow. Again, I've not seen an option to buy that, but I'm guessing it's something which we can get in the missions and might have the option to buy eventually. Alright, just going into my uh, hangar right now. Black screen. Come on, please work. Don't don't break. There we go. Perfect. Wait, we've only got two. Where's where's the other? Where's the other truck? All right, I think they've gone the wrong way. Maybe that's what it is. Let's exit the hangar right now and just see where they are. At. I thought that was it. Where are they? Where are they at? They're all the way over there. Come on, guys. You've gone the long way around. You can go this way. Oh no way. They're going all the way that way. Right, we'll have to wait for them then. Unfortunately, we'll just stay inside. I don't think they need any help from us, so we'll be all good. Uh, can I go back inside? Yes, I can. Okay, we'll go inside. Right, whilst it's happening, I'm going to quickly check Twitter, because I know some of you guys have sent me some tweets and stuff, which you've asked me to take a look at. So I'll do that right now. So let's see what you guys are saying. But yes, if you guys want to enter my shark card giveaway, don't forget to do so. There is a link in the description. All right, looking at this uh, picture now. Uh, yes, okay, so Joe Hyde has got the Hunter in online, but is that because of a mission, or is it because he's bought it? It looks like it's a mission. Yeah, okay, so there are missions, well, well, which we'll be doing. Yeah, loads of you guys sent me videos, actually. Uh, there are missions you can play. 
that get the hunter. Yeah, okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. So yeah, basically that mission we just did then, where we were getting the uh, the riot van and bringing it back. Uh, there'll be missions like that to get the hunter, but we just can't buy it right now from what we can see. Uh, people say you can unlock it, but I've obviously not seen that just yet. So we'll we'll try. Maybe when we go and use, uh, go and get it, uh, you know, and use the hunter to bring it back, it might unlock it. Who knows? Uh, but I've not seen that option just yet. Right, so we're still waiting on uh, the uh, rest of the team to come back. Let's change the view and see where they're at. All the way over there, all the way the long way around. You could have just gone straight down here, but instead they drove all the way around. Because they're following the waypoint by the looks of things. Uh, MJ Chris said, the Smugglers DLC is trash. Import and export is so much better. I'm liking it so far. I think it's good. Where, where are they going now? Oh my god. Where? Where, where are they going? Where are you going? Like, they're going the wrong way. <laughs> what? Why are they going that way? Maybe they have a wanted level, who knows. Come on, straight through there. Come and deliver it to us right now. Quick question, guys. Was um, the Fort San Cuda military base on the, uh, the mini map before? It wasn't, was it? It wasn't a location that was shown on the map. This is uh, a new addition with this update. I could be wrong in saying that, but I'm pretty sure it is. So Nas, what are you doing? We're just waiting for the uh, second riot track to be delivered. Uh, so, right, the game quiet, our audio is like really quiet right now. Is it because it's like broken? No, we're inside the hangar, that's why. So, so quiet. Uh, HP Pencil said there are new guns added. I haven't actually checked the ammunition or the clothing store just yet, which we will be doing later on. Um, but I want to go and find out that. I also want to try and get the Hunter and show that off in the, the live stream. So we'll go for one more cargo mission and see if we can get that. If we can't, uh, then maybe later on. So I will be live streaming later this evening. Uh, but I want to go and have lunch. I want to make some, some videos and stuff. Do some customization guides and tips and tricks. And uh, then we'll go and take a look at uh, yeah, some, some of the stuff later on. There we go. Four uh, items delivered. Sweet. I think it must be each player you have in your organization uh, must increase the number of uh, packages you can pick up. Because I only picked up one before, whereas that was four this time. But I could be wrong. That might just be uh, a theory. Because uh, I have one, two, three, four. Yeah, four people in my organization with more space. So let me try and invite some more people in right now. Uh, let's go to... Wait. Players. There's an invite for you. Uh, wait. You've already sent the offer out. I know I have. I want to invite some more people. Cargo secure. Right. Cargo is secure. Alright. Go to Lisa's Travel and purchase the Pegasus Ultralight. And it di oh, discounted price. Okay, so there aren't like special vehicle missions then, like we've had with previous, uh, uh, with, with some of the previous updates. Basically, the more cargo you import, the more discounted they become. So the ultralights, the ultralight is now discounted. Yeah, it's now discounted. So where I pay like six hundred and fifty thousand for it, it's now just five hundred because I have now completed the, uh, the mission. There's no like specific vehicle mission then for it. All right. So basically, the more we do, the more discount we get on the vehicles. All right, okay, sit down. Let's go do one more then. Let's see if we can get the Hunter this time. Hopefully we can. Uh, source, let's go for... We've gone for that one. We've gone for the jewelry. We should probably go for counterfeit goods, maybe? Or chemicals. What should we go for, guys? Come in right now. Uh, I want to go for one of everything. So we've done the chemicals. We've done that one. Yeah, let's go for maybe tobacco and alcohol. Let's give that one a try. Let's go and give that one a try. All right. Go and steal it. So. Okay, let's just end the call on run. We gotta go to over here. Where's that? Over oh, by the humane labs, where those things. Okay. Let me go inside, and we'll choose a different plane. Go inside. Go inside. Come on. You guys, right? Go for medical. Uh, we'll go back uh, and do some more. Don't worry, guys. We might we might do some more later on, like later this evening, because um, I am like so hungry right now. I won't lie. Uh, wait, one of my planes is missing. Someone just take it out. Or maybe we'll just take this one. It's only a one-seater, but... Uh, fly to the salvage site. Yeah, we'll just take this plane. Everybody make their own way. We'll take the uh, the new Alpha Z1. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Apparently the Hunter is in the narcotics one. If that's true, uh, then we're going to do some narcotic missions. Uh, can, you, can anyone confirm that? Can anyone confirm that uh, you have to have, I have to be doing the narcotics? If that's true, 
let me know. Apparently they've downed the prices on vehicle cargo. What do you mean by that? Uh, Cameron asks, are you able to sell Pegasus vehicles like the Luxor? No, you cannot. You can only sell the new aircraft available from today, unfortunately. Somebody asks, can you make more money from import and exporting or from the new hangars? Uh, at the moment, I don't know because we've only imported stuff. Uh, the import and export stuff is always, like, it's, I think it's always going to be on top. Uh, but I don't know. I honestly don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, we're going to be there in a few seconds. Anyone behind me? I don't see anyone just yet. Am I supposed to be flying with other people? I don't know. Alright, Charlie says there are parts if you want to return the bird. Oh, on, on what? Alright, Jeremy Gem Boy says he's going to do the narcotics. I'm guessing to see if he can unlock the, uh, the hunter. Or get the hunter. Okay, eliminate the salvage crew. There's, there's quite a few people. Let's, uh, let's try and land this if we can. Maybe we'll just parachute out. That might be a better thing to do. Let's parachute. Let's go for it. Okay, volume just going completely uh, silent again. I see he's two submarines. Oh yeah, I've not really got any uh, decent weapons apart from. Oh, I could use that. I can't see anyone right now. Should we try and land on the, the floating platform. See if we can do it without being killed. He's down. He's down. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> come back up, come back up. Just uh, pull this guy off his uh, jet ski, come on. Hello to Harry in the chat, what's up? He said hello. Oh, I can't use my weapon. Headshot on that guy. Come on, headshot. That was a big explosion. Please let destroy the cargo. Come on, shoot, 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 shoot. So many enemies. Oh. I want to be on this uh, this land by here. No! I died. Please respawn. Please respawn on the land itself, on the platform. Oh, jet ski. There we go. Try and land on this platform now, or maybe try and drive onto it. There we go. <laughs> there we go. You can do it. Yes, that's that's how it's done. That is how it's done. All right. Okay, that's all. Oh, that. Oh my god, that just sank. Did you see that, guys? It just sank. If that's the case, and you can actually sink these, I want to give that a try. I right, stand by here. No, no, no! I don't want to jump in the water. Oh my god. Back over. Back over. That was so cool. It looked looked like they just sank it. No! Back up! Why can't I get up? I'm like stuck right now. Please climb. Wait, take the... Where is it? I can't see it anywhere. Let's get a jet ski. Oh, actually no, we're going to the Tula. The guy's got a Tula. Right. Where is... Oh, there it is. It's on the, uh, on the seabed. Okay. There's, I see one now on this boat. There we go. I've got one. Alright, let's go straight back up. Right, everyone can get one each. We've got, uh, I've got one. I can see... Is that Domzilla going down? I think it was Domzilla. Stay there, buddy. Stay there. Stay, 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 stay. Stay. Stay there. Let me let me get in. No, wait, wait. Oh, my God. I want someone to come back to me to pick me up. Stay there. No, don't, don't go into me. <laughs> oh my god, we got three out of the four. Uh, I need either to go down and go and pick up the other one. Or someone to go down and go and get the last one. Right, I'm going to get in now. There we go. I want to go on the turret as well. Please put me on the turret. Hold down H. Oh no, we've already got someone on the, uh, the turret. Uh, no, 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 don't go, don't go. Right. Uh, go and get the other cargo. Who doesn't have one? Don't leave if you haven't got one. I think uh, I hasn't got one, and then there's Dryas as well. He's just sitting there, hasn't got either. Don't go away if we haven't got it. I 
That's so logical. We've got one more to go. Oh, I think it's higher. Go and get the last one. Come on, hurry. We need, uh, I need Dom to do on the back, I think, to take out those helicopters. There we go. I'm going to take over now, hopefully. There we go. Finally, now you guys get the idea. We have to actually go and get these things. I see uh, Danny's on here as well. Time on the board. Hopefully he can shoot those uh, helicopters now. There we go, there's one. I'll turn it around for you, buddy. There we go. Hopefully he can shoot that one. It's not too uh, high. There we go, perfect. And uh, we've got the final cargo package as well. Just wait in the water now for him to come back up. Any second, where is he? There he is, get in now. He's getting in, perfect. Let's go! No, I fell out, no! Hop back in, hop back in. How did you fall out? How is such a thing possible? I'll wait for uh, Ida to sit down, Aya. There we go. Danny Mods just sit on the back. Alright, hopefully we can now uh, activate the... Uh, Okay, normal flying mode. He's probably gonna fall off. Danny must. No! Oh my god. There we go. Activate the boost. Fly away! There we go. Perfect. So you only use the boost uh, when, when actually you're, you're flying and on the floor. You can't use it in midair. And you have to have um, the wings this way, which is kind of annoying. Right, do we have any other turrets? Just the machine gun. Okay. Just checking. It's been a while since I've flown this, about an hour or so. I've already forgotten what it had and didn't have. Uh, NYL said invite me. Okay, I'll drop you an invite now in a few moments. Come on, fly, fly, fly. We got 3,333 likes right now. Three, 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 three. And we also have 3,333 people watching. That's insane. The same number of likes to, to viewers. That's awesome. Thank you guys for the support. And of course, uh, tuning in. Uh, we got Nick. Want to ask? Can you put the Savage in the hangar? Yes, you can. You can put, I think, all the Pegasus uh, aircraft in the new hangar if you'd like. People are saying the update is only available for PC. Is that true? No, the update is on Xbox One, PlayStation Four, and PC. So we got two helicopters after us. I'll stay fairly level so we can just shoot them out. We should be okay. Though. They're fairly slow. These missions aren't too difficult by the looks of things. They seem fairly simplistic. Uh, test out the flares. Uh, we press G for that, right? Nope, that's the uh, wrong one. What is it? Nope, that's the wrong button. Bombs are open. I forgot about the flare button. Press that. There we go. What's the button for flares? It's not G, it's not H. Left shift, left control. Maybe this one hasn't got any flares. I'm pressing every button, it's not doing anything. Right, we're almost there. Activate the, uh, oh, I should open up the, <laughs> the bomb doors again. There we go, activate the VTOL mode. Tula is definitely one of my favorite planes in the update, that's for sure. Right, bringing it down now. Here we go. And... Delivered! Sweet! Alright, so that's, I think, part one, or part, f well, all, f all four cargo shipments have been done. That's alright, that's all good. Yeah, it's pretty quick as well. Uh, someone, oh, it was Mason. Please tell me, is Chaotic on PS4 or Xbox One? I'm on PC, so neither of those. All right. That's how it's done. That's how it's done, yes, we've got some more. So we have four jewelry and gemstones in here right now. We've got five alcohol and tobacco. No narcotics, and apparently that's where we can get the hunter, so I want to go and do one more. And then uh, we're going to move on and take a look at the uh, ammunition and the clothing store. Because uh, this is basically so a little preview of everything available in the update. Alright. Okay, access the computer. Uh, let's uh, source narcotics. Hope this is right and we get the hunter. I want to I see the hunter in game for myself. Hopefully it's narcotics. Here we go then. Loading, loading, loading. Apparently the hunter is in medical. Don't tell me that now that we started up narcotics. If you guys have already had the hunter in game and you know exactly which mission you got it from, let me know. 
Alright, so there's two buzzards over there. Okay. Take the narcotics and deliver them to the hangar. I'm pretty sure it's just uh, drive the lo or fly the location and then uh, fly back. And this, yeah, this is the one that we, we saw on social media yesterday. This, uh, this buzzard without the turrets. So it's not an aircraft we can actually get. Uh, but it's one we can get in the uh, the update. Or in, in the missions at least. Right, is that everyone? Let's go. Go to the construction sites. It's one of the city, I'm guessing. The game volume keeps turning off. It's kind of annoying. Uh, Azini said he got it in the narcotics mission. I don't think we're going to get it this time. It might take quite a few like plays. It's obviously completely random. You get different different missions each time, which is a shame. Uh, someone said, did you take the Titan inside of your hangar? I did, yes. And we put a uh, gold uh, paint job on it as well, as you guys requested. Uh, Sam said he did the narcotics one, but didn't get it. Yeah, it looks like it's one of those things that uh, it might just be random. Uh, we've got Boat Noose 12 who asked, is the Hunter a new helicopter? Yes, it's the Apache helicopter we saw in the trailer. Awesome looking thing. Apparently the Hunter mission is the hardest one. I don't know how true that is. Uh, apparently it's a medical one, you can also get the Hunter in. Okay. It might just be random for all of them, like you probably get in all of them. Uh, Hunter is the last one. Okay. We'll have to we'll have to maybe go for one more mission after this then, if that's the case. I said this was going to be my last one, but we'll see. We'll see. We can always do it later on, I guess. Because uh, I will be live streaming later this evening. And we'll be doing all the missions, trying to fill our, our warehouse, basically, if we can. Alright, okay, so we've got the construction site, this one here. Right, which level do we go to? Is it the top, or... Wait, land on the roof. Which roof is that? Wait, four... Oh, there's quite a few trains. Wait, which... There's loads of platforms. Which one do we go to? That one down there, or this one up here? I'm guessing up this one up here on the roof. Let's give that a try. I hear gunshots, but I don't see anyone. Oh, there we go. I can see people now. Which is very small. Oh, no, don't jump out! Don't jump out! Don't die. Please don't say he died. I did. <laughs> no way. Oh, I just blew up. Hopefully it doesn't destroy any of the packages. I spawned on here though. Let's get the, uh, the weapon out. Are we above it now? I can't figure that out. Wait, where, where are we getting shot from? Oh, nope. Someone, someone just sniped me. Oh, okay. All right. It appears we have randoms in the session that enjoy that sort of thing. That's, that's fair enough. It's fair enough. We... We, we can't all not live in our parents' basements. Right, one guy down there. He's down as well. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to concentrate as much as I can now so I don't die. Right, reload, reload. Right, let's get some armor on very quickly. Loads of explosions. Hopefully that's not going to destroy any of these, uh, these crates. It wouldn't surprise me though. Right, got some armor on. Okay, there's a crate over by here. Somewhere, where is it? There it is. No! Oh my god. Died really quickly then. Right, let's try again. Let's get my weapon back out. Just jump down. Oh no! <laughs> Oops. Nailed it. Did that guy just call me a shit dick? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I've got that one. I've got one of the four crates, guys. Alright, now we're on the uh, the global signal as well. If you guys can get one as well. Okay, we've got two now. We got, we, okay, we got some helicopters in here. So let me get my uh, launcher out. If I can, if I press the right button. There we go. Well, I can hear one coming down already. No, I missed it. It didn't lock on on time. I knew he was going to fly away. I think someone's already got it, though. Yep, yeah, they've got it. They shot out the driver, I think. Boom. No, I've just been sniped to get... Oh, my God. Yo, Bertus, just do us all a favor and fuck off. Oh, my God. He's probably so proud of himself right now. Okay, he's got shot as well. Alright, let's try and find him. Let's see if we can see him. Yeah, I can see him. I can see him on top of the building. I'm like just behind the, the barrier. Let's move it slightly across. Is that him over there? Or maybe it's not him. Wait, where is he? He's over here somewhere. 
Oh, well, never mind. Right. All right. We got one crate left, I think. Oh, we, oh we've all got the crates now. We've all got the crates. Okay, guys, get a parachute. Let's dive. Let's go. Let's go. We need a helicopter, ideally, but... There we go. Right, I'm down on the ground now. I'm going to quickly call in my oppressor. I'll fly back. There we go. I'll just fly back using the oppressor. One of the best vehicles still in game. All right. There we go. No, he died! No, dry ice! I'll stay here and protect it, just in case. Guys, make sure you use your parachute. That is important. Okay, we've got a few helicopters coming down. Let's take those out. Come on. Launcher, launcher, launcher. Go on, straight past it. There it is. Boom, he's down. One, two, three. Okay, he's down as well. Okay, he's got the package. Everyone get themselves a vehicle, and we'll just speed back there right now. Got a guy in the game chat. Any mothers? <laughs> And it's a new update out, man. Has no chance. Yeah, I'm just going to boost it down out, uh, with the, uh, the oppressor because it's just one of the better vehicles in the game to use this sort of thing. Okay, uh, open man and ask if there are any new weapons. I'm not too sure. I've not actually gone to the ammunition yet, but we will go there soon and take a look. And it's the same for clothing items as well. I'm sure there are new clothing items. Uh, we've seen a few already in the trade or on the news wire and stuff, but I've not actually gone to check yet. I uh, so we'll do that very soon. Come on, come on. Boost, 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 boost. Three miles to go. I would use some of the new vehicles for this, but uh, let's do it as quickly as possible, right? We want to try and find that hunter in game. There we go. Hit the road right here. This thing is... The Oppressor, I think, is going to be by far the best vehicle ever in GTA 5. Maybe you guys disagree that it's a better one, but it's definitely one of the coolest. Oh, the game volume turned off again. Keeps doing that. Oh, the plane just flew overhead. There's quite a few people in my session right now, so we might have an issue with uh, bringing these back to the uh, the warehouse. Hopefully not, though. Hopefully not. Somebody asked, is this profitable? I don't know yet. We haven't sold really that much. Uh, I don't know what a full warehouse is really worth, to be honest. But we'll see. Hopefully a lot more. It, it is going to be a grind, though. It's one of those things that you'll have to keep going back and forth, back and forth, getting these cargo crates. But maybe it's worth it. I don't know. We'll soon find out. Later on, we might try and fill the uh, the warehouse completely uh, in my stream this evening. We won't be able to do this uh, right now because uh, there's too many crates to get. There we go, though. Delivered the first crate into the warehouse. I got to run straight inside. Just waiting for the other three guys now to turn up. And that'll be that one done. Uh, this could be Kyle said, use new car. I know I should have really, but I wanted to get back there as quickly as possible. Right, there's one car I've delivered. Oh, Sly got here as well. He got here pretty quickly. Uh, that's who also just didn't come with us, I don't know. Uh, Diamond said there's a hunter. Where is, where's the hunter? I want to see it. That'll be like my day complete. Going back outside. Uh, where? Where is it? Where is the hunter? I want to see this thing. The bike's over there. Is it here? Is it at, at the, uh, in the city? Okay. It's in the city, but I've got to go back anyway. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let's uh, do him a favor and just take him out. Oh, my God. These people! <laughs> Why? We're just, like, minding our own business. We're not doing anything. Oh, well. He, he killed himself. Oh, yeah. He's killed. Uh... E4E, Toxic said it's basically uh, just the crate missions, import and export sort of thing. It is, yeah. It is. Uh, my bike is under here. I want to see this hunter. It doesn't help me, we've got random people like that. Oh, I'm going to get a wanted level now for stealing this, aren't I? Cocksucker. I think so. You fuck with the wrong soldier. Drive, come on. So I can get my oppressor back. There we go. Oh no! Oh no! I just heard. Oh, I lost my wanted level. It's all good. Okay, four crates delivered. I want to see this hunter though. Do we go and look at it, or do we go and try and get it ourselves? It might be better to go and get it ourselves. All right, let's go and do one more mission, guys. Let's go and do one more mission. I said I wasn't going to, but uh, there's a few different ways we can suppose to get it. I want to give it one more try, and if we can't, then I give up. Let's go. Let's go. Lethal asks, how much do the hangers cost? Prices start from one million two hundred thousand and go upwards. 
Fully upgraded, of course, to six mil. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can get something else. Uh, apparently, the hunter takes seven missiles to destroy. That is so powerful. But it might just be the one in the mission, though, because the mission ones are or often, uh, you know, more more resistant. Right. On to the desktop. What are we gonna do then, guys? Some people say medical is the one to go for. Let's go for medical then, if that's the one. Let's do it. Hopefully, we can get the hunter. Please, please. I'm, I'm like crossing my fingers right now. Please. Medical supplies and sent to the hangar. Mary right. There's a load of planes. Intercept Mary with the jets. Okay. There's. There's no, um, no hunter in this one. That's unfortunate. It looks like we're going to be a while getting these. All right, intercept the Merryweather jets. Right, we're just, oh, here it is. Go straight over here. And this is the, uh, oh yeah, this is the, the what's it called? The, the, the P-51 lookalike, which we haven't actually got in game yet. It hasn't been unlocked. The Dakota. So we can actually get all the vehicles then from this update, a lot of them, uh, in the game already through the missions. But you can't buy them right now from the uh, Lux of things. You have to uh, wait until Rockstar release them through Drip Red content. It's a little annoying. Hopefully that's... Oh my god, no! <laughs> Pressing the wrong buttons, that's why I'm flying the wrong way. <laughs> that would explain everything. Wait, can we hit use flares? Oh, we can use flares, okay. That's good. Intercept the jets. Now, we've actually seen this mission already in the trailer. Um, so we got to go and chase them and take them out. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We've got two people behind me, I think. Nope, they haven't taken off yet. Or at least I can't see them. It's just that time of day, I think. Apparently, the tobacco missions is the one where you can get the hunter. Everyone's saying, like, every single mission. Maybe it, it's just random. You can get them in any mission. It doesn't matter. Maybe that is the case. Uh, no links, so do you suck? Yeah, your mom's titties. Where are these uh, jets? Fair distance away, damn. Oh, I can see them now. I can see them. I'm guessing four out of the five have the uh, the crates in. Hopefully it's not more than just these we have to intercept. As soon as we get close, we use these rockets this thing has. Lupin, do you have Hunter? I think Lupin has Hunter. Okay, okay. I have no idea what he was trying to say then. Oh, no, they're flying towards me. That's not good. Did I get him? I missed him. Did I get him? No, Dom's on the left. Wait, animate flares. Animate some more flares. Moving back around. Wait, have we got them all? No, there's still a couple left. Where are they? Activate that rocket. I think they've got um, some am uh, armor on them as well. Unless these rockets sound very powerful. There we go. That's down. Destroy Merryweather and. Okay, we have two crates on the ground by the looks of things. Two crates on the floor that we can get. Uh, we've still got a few more jets to take out though. There's that one. Oh, try to just flew straight into the plane. Oh my god, that looks so cool. Oh, I missed the plane. That one's out. I'm getting locked onto. I need to flares. Okay, I think all the cargo's on the floor now, so we can land and go pick that up. I'm gonna go to. I think that guy's going for that one, I don't know. I'll go for the ones over here then. If there's. Nope, I think the other guy's turned around as well. Alright, I'll go for one of the crates over here then. See two down there and two back there. Okay, that's perfect. Um, parachute out. Hopefully, what we're supposed to do. Not uh, use the plane. I don't see any crates just yet, so I have no idea where they are. Is it on the road? Yeah, I can see one there. I see one on the road. There's one down there as well in the sewers. There we go. Perfect. Medical supplies. Got. Captured. Right, I'm going to call up my mechanic now and we'll deliver the new supercar. Let's go for that one instead. The Visioni this time. Well, I feel like the Oppressor might be a better bike to go for. Come on. Mechanic answer. Please. You calling for some wheels? 
I'm Johnny on the spot. All right, I'll let's go up. for the Vizioni. There it is. It's coming at you. It's coming at you. Right, I think everyone's got a crate right now. That's all I can see. One, two. Yeah, I think they all landed as well to go and get them. I don't know really why. Just like jump out. Charlie said this uh, update is too expensive. It is pretty expensive. Uh, I think so far, let's have a quick look. So far, I've spent thirty-five million dollars, just under thirty-five million dollars, on buying all the content, upgrading it, and whatnot, which is a lot of money. And I can still spend more. We haven't bought any of the clothing items yet, or the weapons, if there are any. Um, so we have spent a lot of money. I think someone just died. What happened? No idea. So it's something I'll go in the chat, that's for sure. Take a right by here. The Vizioni though is so cool looking. It's handling well as well. Oh, there's a guy coming after me. I got a feeling he's gonna try and shoot me. So we're in a public session. That's what people like to do. That's why I should have gone for the, uh, the oppressor. We can just fight anywhere we want. Then again, this Vizioni is pretty fast. We should be all good. I love the rear brake lights, by the way, on the, uh, the back of this car. See that thing at the bottom? I like square section. That's cool. We aren't too far away from the military base. I still think I should have gone for a uh, a hangar down at the airport rather than the military base. I feel like most people go for one up there, and it's going to be an awful place to go to to do these missions. So maybe I'll buy one. I'll swap it over to the uh, the hangar down at the uh, the airport. The game volume keeps going silent. Diamond said so much for the solo public lobby. I know it's because once two or three people start joining. Then uh, GT Online just automatically just fills them up. That's the only issue. It's super annoying. There is a way of getting around it though by uh, like blocking your firewall for certain players or whatever. Oh well. Let's take a left by here. Uh, rip. Uh, yeah, chilly. I think it is. Most of them are all chilled. Uh, has asked what platform I'm playing on. I'm playing on PC right now. That's the uh, chat on screen when it comes up. Take a right by here. Almost there. So what are you guys thinking about the update so far then? Are you guys sort of happy with it? Are you not so happy? Uh, what are your sort of like first thoughts and, and th uh, feelings about this? Oh. I think there's an uh, enemy nearby. There's a, there's a jet going alongside me right now. Hopefully you can't take me out. We should go as fast as we can though in this uh, new supercar. Straight through the barrier. Let's do it. No, I didn't go through that one. Quick turn around. Turn around. Wait, go to the Sandy Shores airfield. Why? What's what's over there? What's at the Sandy Shores airfield? Let's take a right. I think most of you guys seem pretty satisfied with the updates so far, apart from the prices. That's like I see the main comment being. It's too expensive. Alright, okay. We're going in right now. I think I've got my first package. I think it's one of two. Uh, Jammy Jam Boy said, go to the Sandy Shores airfield when you're done. I'm guessing there's something over there you wants to show me. Um, wait, one package has been destroyed, I think. Oh, no way. One package was destroyed. Well, I'm going to find out where these guys are at right now, because they're taking so long to uh, to go back. If we ever leave this location, that is. Uh, Anthony said, the Visioni is pretty mad. That's true. Uh, shout out by the way to Trucker as well, who dropped a like on the stream. Alright. Uh, yeah, we've lost one package. Where are the two guys at? They're really far away. Oppressor and... I think he's dropped his. Pick it up, pick it up. Alright, Jammy Jam Boy wants me to go to here. Oh, the Pyro. That awesome looking plane. Uh, hopefully it will bring it to me instead, because I'm too lazy to go over there. Alright, let me get into my car. We're going to wait for them to turn up, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make our way to the clothing store to check out the new clothing items, and we also have the, uh, wait, take, oh, what's going on now? I think he keeps dying. We'll just drive over there and go get it myself. As they say, no one can do the job better than yourself, so let's go and get it. Oh, I think he just, like, keeps dying over and over and over again. All right, drive through there, and that one as well. I'll get over there now, and you'll pick it up, and you'll be fine. Better go and help him, though. Just in case. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't see that there. Yeah, now he's picked it up. He just picked it up. Okay. So he should be okay then. Well, I'll make my way back to the hangar then. We've got one about to go in right now. One person on the way with an oppressor. There we go. That's delivered. One more. 
Everything's destroyed, unfortunately. Three or four shipments delivered. I think it's because um, Dom's little left the lobby and it was uh, removed because of that. So yeah, there we go. All right then, guys. Uh, what we'll do is we'll actually take one of the new aircrafts and we'll fly down to the city and take a look at some of the new clothing items. Oh, wait, hold on. We just unlocked something. I don't know what I just said, but we unlocked something then. Let's see if I can see it on the live stream now. We unlocked the rogue. What's that? We've already got the rogue, haven't we? Maybe it's just discounted now. Quickly just go and check that. On the Elitus. No, it's not. It's on this one. The Rogue. Yeah, it's now discounted. So basically, we've now done so many missions uh, that we unlocked the Rogue at a discounted price. So we haven't actually got anything new, unfortunately. That's a shame. All right. Let's, uh, let's go and get in one of the new aircrafts. I'm going to quickly just uh, swap the aircraft locations around um, so we can get one of the other ones and quickly fly down. Which one should we use, guys? Should we go for the, uh, the MIG, the uh, V65 Molotov? Let's place it by there. Can we do that? There we go. The V65 Molotov. We haven't flown this one since the start of the stream. So let's get into that one. And we'll make our way down to the city. Okay, here we go. Oh, Ron's calling. Look at you. Look at you. Uh, yeah, the Rogue is now discounted. That's what it was that we unlocked. Why can't I get into the plane? Come on. Let's try again. Let's try again. All right. I'm so hungry, guys. I've been up now since uh, 7 a.m. and it's almost 2 p.m. here in the UK. And I am so looking forward to having food. I will not lie. All right, let's fly over to uh, the city, though, and take a look at some of the uh, the new clothing items. We haven't actually looked at those yet. And the weapons as well. I don't think there are any weapons, though. Activate some flares, because that's cool. All right. Is there anything else I've missed out? We, we, we've obviously taken a look at all the aircrafts. We've taken a look at all the uh, all the new cars. We've also seen the, um, the the ability to store Pegasus vehicles as well. Clothing items, I think, is the only thing we haven't actually taken a look at, as far as I'm aware of. Yeah, new guns and new clothing items. Okay, this thing is really agile. Let's see if we can land it in the street. Let's see if we can. Ah, oh, it's not going to happen, is it? We can try. We might be alright actually, this one, this one slows down to a pretty slow rate. Come on, come on, see if we can do it. Is the, are the wheels out? No, the wheels are out! There we go. Oh. Yes, we did it. We actually landed in the street. The Molotov is really good for uh, for that level of things. It breaks really well, unlike some of the other aircrafts we've, we've flown around in. Which take like an entire airfield to, to land on and slow down. Alright, let's go into uh, Poison Bees, alright, or Ponson Bees. Let's see what... Uh, Clothing items we've got. We'll start off with the outfits by here. Okay, down the bottom. Smugglers run. Oh, and air, air racing suits as well. Start on that one. Um, so we have this one. Oh, that's kind of cool. So a new mask, new uh, suit completely. Oh, these are really cool. Oh my god. I like that one as well. They're all really cool. The Kronos one. Uh, that one too. Oh my god, we have some really cool options. That's really nice. Uh, 14 race suits here. Uh, okay, and let's look at the uh, the smugglers run outfits. So we can go for the tank. That's us. cool as well, like a World War II style one. I might go for that one for now. Uh, this one. Uh, we have the bodyguard, the military one, the ace, uh, the under wraps. That's kind of that awesome as well. Uh, the hoodlum, the mac, the red mist, and then we have the casual. Yeah, we have some really cool clothing item options. Or uh, you know, uh, outfits. Uh, also, there'll be some individual ones as well, which uh, we haven't looked at. Uh, let's see if we can find uh, those uh, utility vests. Nothing in there. Hello. Maybe a few in here. Nothing in there. No suit vests. Some shirts. We can't actually look at any of those because we have this uh, clothing Bye. item on. Nothing in there. Uh, maybe. Where else would it be? A gun running shirts. Roll tees. Are they new? Smugglers run. There we go. Roll tees. Uh, some new stuff in there. Uh, T-shirts, nothing new in there. Special tops, mm, nothing special in there that's new, obviously. Uh, maybe not as many clothing items as we'd usually get. So we're only quickly just spamming through these. Uh, but there's certainly, there's certainly still quite a few. There we go, we've got a few bomber jackets as well. Some pretty cool ones in there too. Alright, and then we have... Oh, a lot of um, work jackets as well. We have this one right now uh, yeah okay so quite a few options then quite a few more than I, I thought but uh, not as many as usual 
All right, now we have to go down to the clothing store. I saw the clothing store. The um, wait, hold on, hold on. The hunter. Someone has got the hunter. What we have? It must be a mission they're doing. Was it me flying? I think it's me flying, right? Guys, we have the hunter in the game. But how did you get this? Who, who was it? How did you get it? Is it is it a mission? Is that what it is? Let's have again. How did you get it? Tell me. I want to know. So we have missiles. Wait, that's awesome. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, we can spray loads. I did speculate we'd be able to do that. I'm, I'm right. That's awesome. So we have... What else we have? Barrage and homing. So awesome. Uh, wait, someone said they modded it already. Is that right? <laughs> They've already modded it into the game, apparently. If that's true, then wow. Well, there we go. We have the hunter, guys. We have the hunter in GT Online. That's cool. Yeah, you can spray the loads. Look at that. If we can try to lock on someone, we can show that off really well. I'll try and find someone, that's all. Alright, we're going to make our way then to the ammunition, just go and check uh, if there's anything there. Uh, yeah, the Epsilon mod just came into the lobby and said, yeah, it's modded. Anti-cheat system sucks. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. So there's, there's already mods in GT Online for these vehicles. So this is a vehicle you can't actually get. Uh, it is a drip fed content, but uh, modders can already mod it into the game. That's insane. <laughs> so we have the Hunter guys in GT Online. Wow. Just wow. Let's get a like on the, uh, the stream for that right now. Apparently we're going to go to the Master. There's some new ones over there. I don't see any new weapons. No new weapons. Okay. That's a shame. A nice one. Uh, Bagos has actually unlocked the uh, helicopter. No, he hasn't. He said nope. He found it. Oh, okay. Let's get back in. Hey, what's that? Oh, he just spawned in one of the other planes as well. This is the uh, the bomb Bushka. It obviously isn't available in the game right now. Let me see if I can get into his plane with him, and uh, we'll take a look at that. Let's do that. Go and get in. There we go. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, he's just like flying right now using mods. That's insane. Let's go to first person. Look at the interior on that. So can we change the uh, location we're actually sitting in? Wait. I can go into the gun. Let's see if I can do that right now. Yes, I'm going into the gun, guys. Right, so we then press uh, E to enter the camera. There we go. It's a really slow firing gun. And if I move, we can go to the rear of the plane and fire the rear one. Okay, let's give that a try. I'm guessing it's the same again. Nothing too... Yeah, powerful. There we go. Oh, well, there we go. So we've again the the Bombushka, this awesome-looking uh, plane, isn't actually available in the game right now. But uh, the Epsilon mod just like spawned it in. Obviously, I'm usually massively against mods, but uh, if we're showing off these unreleased planes that you can uh, you can get obviously over the next few weeks through drip-fed content. Well, there we go. The Bombushka. Okay, what else are you gonna spawn in for us and just show us that will be available eventually and online, just not right now. I can't confirm there are no new planes, by the way. I got quite a few comments about that. There are no new planes. Um, I think he's going to spawn something in for us right now. Uh, what, what, what vehicles do you guys want to see? Let me know right now. Uh, wait, what about the Batmobile? Can you spawn the Batmobile? I want to see that. I want to see that. Modder or not modder, modder I want to see that. I want to see Batmobile. It's the... Uh, uh, Vigilante, right? That's how it's spelt, right, I think? One moment. Okay, he's gonna try and spawn the Batmobile in, guys. Oh my god. So we've got the, the, the Bombushka, that over there, the awesome looking, uh, like, Titan plane that isn't available. Is he gonna spawn in? Okay, that's the, uh, the Grotti. Um... He's still trying to find it. We've already got that one in the game. <laughs> Reported. No, it's not that one. <laughs> He's more than just the, the Valera. Well, yeah, we've seen the Hunter already. 
Someone ask, can we see the hunter? We've already seen that one. I guess not. Uh, do you want the file name? If I can get the file name for him, you might be able to spawn it in. And then we can see. I really want to see this Batmobile. Just the vehicle name. Okay. Let me get that vehicle name for him right now. I want to see this thing. Uh, so it's. Let's have a quick look. If we can find this. Oh my god. We could be one of the first people to see the Batmobile in GT Online. Right. It is. Named in online. I'm just trying to find the name of it right now. Where is it? There it is. It's the uh, oh, Vigil Vigilante. There we go. That's it. Vigilante. That's what we want. Spawn that one in. It's the uh, Vigilante. Hopefully. Hopefully you can type that in now on his mod menu and get that one to spawn in, if we can. Guys, this will be the first place we see the Batmobile in online. Is it going to work? Please work. I want to see it so much. Yes, we've got it guys! The Batmobile! Oh my god! No way! I think he's put custom wheels on it so we can't... Oh, we can drive it. Um, can you put the stock wheels back on? He's, he's all, fully upgraded it as he spawned in, and obviously the wheels aren't even on the ground. <laughs> Let's go back to this one. If you can put stock wheels back on. Hopefully you can do that. Uh, can you put stock wheels on? Because right now the, the wheels aren't even on the ground. It's the Batmobile though, guys. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Thanks, dude. Oh my god. The Batmobile in GTA 5. Here it is, guys. Massive wheel on the back. Oh, it's a, it's a double axle on the back. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to cream myself right now. Is there a boost feature? It's got a boost feature as well. No way. Oh my god. We've got a boost feature. Oh, this is insane. And it's got weapons as well. Like the Ardents, they're not very powerful, but... Oh my god, that is insane. That is insane. First person request. Let's look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. We have the Batmobile in GTA Online. It's not a vehicle we can buy just yet, but will be available over the next few weeks. I'm sorry, Krummy. <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll be able to buy very, very soon. Through drip-fed content. That is so cool. I love... Oh, I'm like in love right now. I'm in love. I'm in love with the Batmobile. The thing on the front doesn't actually move, I don't think. Oh, look at the jet on the back. That's insane. Well, what a way then, guys, to end the live stream then. What a way. We have shown off some awesome vehicles in this stream. We've gone through all the new stuff and uh, some of the stuff coming out very, very soon as well, which is awesome. I want to say a big thank you to the Epsilon menu, the guy in here right now. I'm guessing he is using the Epsilon menu to spawn these in. It's crazy to think. Usually it takes a couple days for the modders to uh, to get the menus working again. He's got it working in like two or three hours. <laughs> That's insane. I want to just say a big thank you to you, buddy. Um, so yeah, big shout out to uh, Epsilon for that one. You gonna hop in? You wanna, wanna hop in with me? Hop, hop in. Hop in, hop in. Let's go. Oops, I wanted to sand the hole, man. That didn't go very well. <laughs> Oops. Let me go back to him right now. So he can get in with me. Oh, Dryas. Such a cool, such a cool little vehicle. There we go. Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to run you over. <laughs> hop in, buddy. Hop in, hop in. That's crazy. Is this the only mod menu working, though? Hopefully, mod, uh, Epsilon knows. Oh, he's not going to hop in by those things. Okay. No worries. Well, what a way to end the live stream. I want to just say a big thank you to everybody that's tuned in. Uh, it's been an awesome stream. Right now, I'm going to go get some food. I'm going to go and make some videos on the uh, the update, some tips and tricks. I've got stuff like that to share with you guys and, uh, and loads of things to basically share. So make sure you guys stay tuned on my channel today. Loads of things coming out. Of course, we also have a shortcut giveaway that I'll be announcing later today as well. You guys can enter early. There's a link in the description to that if you guys want to join. And, uh, of course, I will be live streaming later on as well, playing around with some of this more content that we've got in the update. 
Um, but yeah, thank you so much everybody that's tuned in. If you guys could drop a like right now, that would be appreciated. And of course, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. Uh, we'll do a few shoutouts as well. I won't do too many because I am super hungry right now. And obviously I'd usually shout everybody out, but we'll, we'll go and do, uh, we'll go and do a few. Um, so here we go. Shout out to Well Strike and Rule. Thank you for tuning in. Shout out as well to Toxic who dropped a like on the stream. We've also got uh, Gabriel as well. Thank you for dropping a like. David, shout out to you as well. Uh, Running Guns, shout out to you. Uh, Alex as well, shout out to you. Apparently I haven't checked out the masks. We'll drive over there right now as we end things. Um, shout out to Tony as well who dropped a like. I can see Epsilon in the game right now. He's like, also check out EpsilonGTA.net. I'm guessing that's... Uh, where he's uh, got the mod menu from that's available right now. So there you go. I obviously don't promote uh, the online modding, but uh, yeah. It's amazing to think that a mod menu is already made for online. Um, shout out to uh, Safe, who dropped a like on the stream. we got Mask as well in the chat. Shout out to you, uh, Ali, as well. Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to go to the Master very quickly and just check out these. Shout out to Michael as well. Uh, Dean, HP Pencil. Uh, we've got Hisham as well. Kieran, F. Uh, I Kingpin, we've also got Brendan, uh, Madeline as well. Let me just quickly check out these masks. Do we have some new ones? Balaclava. Uh, we do have some new ones, some new Balaclavas, okay. So we can have a hat and a mask at the same time. That's kind of cool, that one right there. The great digital one. It's quite a few, actually. Quite a few. Uh, we're on to, that's uh, 29 so far, 30. And loads and loads. Oh my god. There we go. So we have a total of 43 new Balaclavas. Bikers, I'm guessing there's none in there. No characters, no clowns. Uh, I got a few crime ones. Those are cool as well. Culture, nothing in there. Oh, we got a few headscarves. Okay, I believe these are all, yeah, in the Smuggler's Run update. So loads and loads of these headscarves uh, to give you that sort of like desert military look. Or military look, I guess. Militia look. Loads of cool options there. Loads of patterns as well. I'm sure you guys get the idea. Uh, oh, some of these are crazy intimidation masks. Look at that. They're kind of like, creepy looking. I don't want to look at those anymore. <laughs> uh, paper bags, nothing new in there. Ski masks, a few, few of these as well. A few different. Uh, oh, that's a cool one there. The uh, black skull. Uh, sports, nothing in there. Tactical, I'm guessing we've got a few. No, we don't. We don't actually. Valentine's, obviously no. Zombies, nothing in there. And that's it. Okay, so we have quite a few masks. Not as many clothing items as I thought, but definitely a lot of masks. Oh, those people just left. That's always good. Oh, but yeah, with that being said, guys, that is it for this live stream. I hope you guys have enjoyed. We've gone through as much of the content as possible in this stream. And I will be live streaming later on, so don't worry, guys. Uh, we will be live streaming then, doing some more of the, uh, the, the sort of like hangar stuff and whatnot. Uh, but yes, thank you everybody for tuning in. I love you all. Uh, make sure you drop a like if you haven't done so already. We're actually very close to 4,000 likes. If you guys haven't dropped a like, do so right now. Help me get there. And of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already. I love you all, and I'll see you guys now later on. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you soon.